Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is many a tr- no, Ted's actually Ted's, Ted's not here. Not over there Ted's, yet. Ted's gone missing. But like in at any moment, Ted will realise. Hang on, why none of my humans are in this? Where where why none of my humans in the same room as me? Where are the humans actually? Until he'll po- he'll just potter on through and mosey up onto the sofa. This is many a true note, and welcome back to Pacific Drive. Now we're a tiny bit late this evening. I know yesterday's video was a tiny bit late too. There are reasons for that. Okay, we'll get into them. We'll hint at them. We'll do teasing, etc., etc., etc. It's it's all good. It's all good to work out fine. Welcome to Pacific Drive, which is a weird game that I don't understand and I don't think I'm really supposed to. So that's fine. I'm I'm a okay with that. Pacific Drive's lovely. Right, let's get everyone nice and caught up. Just quickly, just in case, like, you know, you missed the video or don't know what's going on or whatever, or, or in general, are confused, which will be perfectly reasonable. So this here, okay, Claire, mm. this here is a car. Yes. No, you've fallen for my trick immediately. Our car and also house and also Lord and Saviour. No, you you were not paying attention when you were editing this, were you? What? I know that we love it. It's not a car. It's an evil entity that's pretending to be a car. What I particularly quite like, by the way, is at the very start you of the game... You want to be talking to it like that. Every... It's kind of responsible for your safety out there, It buddy. is. It's true. But like, what I particularly like is at the start of this game, several characters repeatedly stress to you, hey, this is not a car. It's an evil psychic entity pretending to be a car. And it's going to get inside your head and it will kill you. And, like, you as a character can't do anything with that because, of course, you can't because it's an evil psychetti that's got in my head, so there's nothing I can do. Basically, the car's in control. Like, I, I'm working on the assumption that, actually, I'm, I'm not really playing as myself. I'm playing as the car remote-controlling me. <laughs> remote-controlling... Could the car be Kate? <laughs> it's possible the car is, in fact. Hang on. Hang on. We've just got to let's crack open. I thought you might be in there for a second. It's hard to say. Lord. Kate! Kate, are you in the boxes, Kate? No Kate in the boxes, that's a shame. Right, so we've got a car. Uh, you may recall from the end of last video, you know, we did one very good outing and then one less good outing where things went a bit on the wrong side. Also, something's blatantly wrong with my car. I like how your car's like, I, I, I need to... Actually, I, I physically can't fix finish fixing up the car. Because to fix up the car at this point, I need more cocking, um... I need more. No, not you. No, you're not. Not 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 you. Just just you, you. Use the thing. There we go. To to feel up to heal up the car at, at any point further. I need. Hang on. Repair putty. And I don't have enough plastic for that. And my friend, the very friendly Ben outside, I think is now done giving me shit. So he's just done with me right now. So I can't make more repair putty. So my car's a bit on the damage side. And also, it's got a quirk that I can't figure out. Like, I figured out one quirk about the parky brake at the, um, the front right door. But I swear the car is losing fuel. Like, I have fully fueled up this car. And it's 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 not at 100 fuel. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill it up right now. And it's going to drop fuel. And I don't know whether this may be the engine's damaged. Maybe this isn't... A, maybe that's not the quirk. Maybe the quirk's something else. I, I'm genuinely not sure, but like, I, I have filled up this car, alright, it is full, you all just saw me fill it up, I'm not crazy, it's the car that's crazy, aren't you car? So everything's, everything's fine, also this, this door's got a heart on it, I think that's because it was gifted to me by the bin, which, which is a thing the bin, the bin does on occasion, because this game's just, just delightful. Right the now. engine is currently running. You haven't turned it off. That's why it's losing fuel. You dumb dumb, is what the chat says. I mean, it's possible that's true. <laughs> you can't prove it though, because there's weird shit happening. I thought it was a. I thought there was a weird car monster thing going on, but it turns out, I just left the car on. Sometimes, sometimes not everything. Okay, we've all learned a valuable lesson here. <laughs> we've, we've all learned a valuable lesson here, which is sometimes when weird shit happens, it's because of an evil monster that's got inside your brain psychically. And sometimes it's because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> and like, it's very hard to tell which of those two things. Uh, Which of those two things it is? And also, I left the lights on. You're so cute. <laughs> I also left. I also left the lights on. 
That's, oh, God. No, that's the... Wait, which is the... Where's the light button? That's the... No, that was the first take it. That's the... There we go! Um, did there you want to go. know what the harp means, by the way? I did thought that meant that? I thought that meant it was gifted to me by the Ben. Uh, that means you won't get uh, resources if you scrap it. Oh, fascinating. Apparently. Okay. So, yes, we've got the, the car is now... Okay, uh, uh, the car is, by definition, it's not fixed up. I, I didn't fix up the car. There were some slight issues with fixing up the car, like I'm out of repair putty. And also, I don't have... I'm missing one of my tools. I've got the um, the crowbar. I've got lots of flares for light. I've got the jombly jomble, uh, the scrapper. But I don't have. Hang on, I'm missing. I'm missing an impact hammer because I don't have a gas cylinder. So I need to, yeah, like I need to craft an impact hammer out there if I want to be gathering plasma things. But I think I've got plenty of plasma things, so that's actually fine. So I need to just make sure I'm actually taking. Enough materials with me to maybe make the impact hammer. So, yeah, two gears and three scrap metal just needs to be going with me. I think my chest is over here, I think. Uh, yeah, so if I take uh, just three scrap metal. Um, okay, fine. Eight, eight, is, eight is fine, too. And two gears. They can just come with me in the car and when i find a gas cylinder in like a like the science buildings have got them in that that will be fine that will be absolutely fine just send those over there everything else is in pretty good condition so okay we're, we're ready to go out there apart from as i say the bits of the car that are a bit on the broken side but like that we'll we're just gonna have to make do with that because sometimes it's 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 just the thing we'll have to make an impact hammer out there so okay what we were trying to do when I had a slight accident previously, was, yes, we were trying to make it to Sector 2. Um, which, to do that, we have to go through E5. Yes, oh, that's that's not Sector 2, that's right, that's the number of legs of the journey it takes to make it there. Eh, okay. So that's good. So that's good. So, right. We need to, yes, if we want to make it to the plot, the remnant experiment, proving to Claire that my car is in fact evil, I'm not just a dumbass who doesn't know how to run it. It is actually genuinely evil and working against me. Or maybe a bit of column A, bit of column B. We need to drive it um, through E5, yes. Before you leave, uh -huh. uh, Thorn Penguin says, John, items in a transfer chest aren't counted for crafting. You want to keep them in your locker. In my locker. Oh, are they not? Mm -hmm. Okay, I transfer transfer trunk need to be put in the ah need to be put in the locker. Okay, I, I, I didn't know this, but fine. I I will happily transfer everything over. I see no reason why not. I can take most of that right. I can take all of that right now. In fact, I can just about. You know what? All of that could go in my locker. Sure, why not? That's that's probably helpful. I'm I'm working under the assumption. So I, I could have sworn stuff that was inside my McJibble has countered crafting before, but maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure on that, to be honest. I'll take a bit of extra food with me. Why Why not, quite frankly? Why not? So, But that's only while I'm here. Yeah, I, I still can't make the repair putty. I've definitely not got plastic. I checked that. I could have sworn stuff that was in the chest has done that before, but okay. That, that person probably knows better than I do, so that's absolutely fine. So, okay. Just check everything as it should be. Just, yeah. Uh, there's nothing more. We, yeah, we can, give, we can give the car an extra 2% juice. Everybody loves an extra 2%. No reason not to give it an extra 2%. We're going to go to this junction. Okay, that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to go We're gonna go to that junction. And that means we need to drive it through E5. Okay, we're going to go to here. That's fine. So we're going through E5, where I did die previously. There may have been certain falling down cliff accidents that I don't want to talk about. So I was just trying to get through it as fast as possible. And there may have been... Did you drive off a cliff? It was very dark and foggy. Mm -hmm. And there were monsters. It was only 60% my fault tops. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, uh, be barely any at all. Okay, bet barely any at all. It was fine. Driver's insurance is gonna love that statistic. Well, the car, I just kind of, I, I, I repair my own car rather than going for the insurance. I kind of repair my own car by slapping repair goo on it, which it absorbs and it yeah. makes it better. Because as I say, it's, it's, it's not, it, it's alive. 
Yeah, kind of and dog. it wants medicine, and there's nothing wrong with that, John. Yeah. So what you I need what? to do is, if I want to repair, actually, if I want to repair it on route, yeah, scrap metal, glass shards, chemicals, yeah, stuff we could get very, very, very easily. So I want to bring along, yeah, some scrap, put glass and chemicals as well. The only need to do is find plastic, which isn't so hard. So I was just saying, uh, scrap chemicals and glass, right? Yeah. Just some glass and some chemicals can just come with me. And we, we're going to be very careful not to lose aforementioned thing. No, that's that's the crafting thing. So just going to take those with us. That way we can use them for crafting. I've got my jump leads with me. I've got everything I need. It's all going to be fine. Everything is... Everything's going to be a-okay. I'm just going to, you know, remember how to do things. So, okay, just turn the car on. All right. This Pass. is hilarious, by the way, because John in real life is a very good and careful driver. I am. Much better than Claire. Who does not actually know how to drive. You, you've literally done a driving course. You were just terrible at it. I mean, <laughs> yes, but I think that, like, if you're in the process of learning and you're struggling to learn a thing... Yeah. You can't, you can't really reproach somebody for being bad at something if they haven't finished learning it yet. Fair enough. Okay, so we have to start off, yes, we have to go to here first. And we've been here before. I'm not sure whether it's going to, like, we've been here before, but the whole point is the universe constantly reshuffles. So I don't know whether it's going to be the same map I've seen before. It's going to be, I, I don't know, because I know the whole point is everything constantly gets shuffled. But, like, does it get shuffled? Like, the game's clearly indicating, hey, you died here. Which I think means I can go and find my corpse. But, like, has my corpse going to have been shuffled? Question mark? Hmm. So, yes. Okay, we're now here. Unfortunately, it's now day, so I don't need to have the lights on. Which is very good. And we're not like, you know, we don't need to... We, we, we can just basically... This doesn't look familiar. Yeah, this looks different. And yeah, so my corpse is here, but it's been shuffled, which is very peculiar, but we are where we are. So, okay, all I need to do is drive to here to drive on. So I'm not going over to this busy main street. Screw this noise. No, no, we're just passing straight through. Okay, we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to take the first left. Uh, Yeah, at this point. And then, yeah, just pin a waypoint literally right there so i know to turn in there so take that left we'll swing by here <laughs> we'll check these houses we're going to pass by i think that's a science building so that can get us the the plastic we need and then we'll pass by my own corpse you know just wave wave flow to my own corpse and how that works but whatever and then we'll just drive straight out of here okay uh, no fuss no trouble so we are clarifying it as the same map re-randomized content uh huh. Uh, did, did, I think did, I'm entering it to a different point. I, did, I definitely yeah. didn't enter this point last time. I entered from a different angle. Somebody said, well, somebody, the book 778 actually said that uh, that's why Claire should be the navigator. I wouldn't know. Yes, I disabuse the, the them problem of that is, I, The problem is, I don't trust Claire to be the navigator or the driver, which is which makes life difficult on road trips. So, okay, well, now we're just going to, yeah, just hang on. Follow this road round to here. There might be some buildings passing by, etc., etc. Just to very quickly set a new marker about, yeah. If we just kind of follow the road to about here, there'll be a bunch of buildings here. We'll scan them. We should have plenty of time to just scan them, and then we'll move on. There'll, there'll be plenty of daylight. Time moves on pretty fast. I, I don't think there's any realistic possibility we're going to be heading into a scenario where, like, daylight's going to to fail or anything. Cause it's, it's an early morning right now. Weather seems good. Which is fine. A warning light just came on. I don't know what that warning light means. Don't know what most of the warning lights mean. It's fine. Just enjoy how, you know, so much of the car is just in the way. You just... I'm not sure there is a way to have a... I'm not sure there is a third person camera in this game. And there shouldn't be. You should be, like, slightly claustrophobically inside the car. And, oh. Okay. Weird magic wisps. Just to bypass them. Thank you. Lovely. There's... Oh, Hello. Okay, weird creepy mannequins. Don't worry about that. Stop. What's that? No, 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 no. Put the parking brake on. Thank you. Right. Turn the turn the car off. All right. Turn the car off. 
The battery should be a-okay. Avoid the mannequins. Hello. What are you? You're a pneumatic deposit box. Containing... Ooh. Things. Including a crowbar shifter. Put in detailing... Oh, well. I'll take all of this, thank you. Including... Theories number one. Okay, I've just found some lore dodged about. Don't worry about that for now. That's fine. We'll just store it in the thing. Okay, we can appreciate lore when there's not an incoming, like, death storm. Okay, for the time being, everything just gets put in the boot and we crack on our way. All right, there's also... Ooh, there's a mannequin right there. I almost ran into you. I'm glad I didn't, like, drive into you because you explode. Like, also... I always go to the wrong side of the car. Because this is an American car, so it's backwards. Which is, you know, a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, you know what? I Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't. I do that in real life. It's been 15 years I still walk to the wrong side of the car. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, they're the wrong, they're the wrong, they're the wrong side in France as well, aren't yeah, they? You've got, you've got yes. that all wrong too. Dear oh, flipping dear. I mean, which, which is particularly unfortunate for you because it looks like you're kind of offering to drive and you definitely shouldn't just offer to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, someone just, one day someone very confident and self sure is going to say, oh yeah, sure, you, yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks for volunteering, Claire. Just toss you the keys. You're going to feel too socially awkward to say no. And you're just going to have to try and figure out driving as you go. No. <laughs> no, that will not happen. <laughs> or rather it won't happen twice. Oh my god. Once, absolutely. What, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Uh, right, so just follow that. No, no. I think that little warning light means slippery road, but how would the car know that? It's not like the tyres have got a sensor on them. Uh, like John, the yes. car is alive. Much like Ted, it doesn't like putting its wheels in something sticky. That's true. You know what? There we go. You've caught up now. Right, park, car off. And now we can start doing a little bit of scrapping. And in particular, I'm after plastic. Something's weird's going on in the sky. Cock only knows what. Who knows? No one has any idea. Gabe's, Gabe's very vague on the what precisely is going on at any given moment. I'm pretty sure I need my that for that. So just crack you open with my crowbar. Also, I really feel like I need a cocky flashlight. Like a flashlight would be an amazing thing. To just stumble across batteries. Now, you might contain a gas canister. There's also... Oh, hang on. Is there... I think there's some radiation in here. I think there's a small, small amount of radiation in here. If you're lucky, there might be... Oh, lab computer. Give it a scam. I thought you said loud computer. <laughs> uh, no, just give... It, now, just smash it open. Oh. Scrap metal. It contains copper wire, uh, which is good. Electronics, which is fine. Oh, hang on. Hazmat cabinet. How do we crack you open again? And pry bar. Okay. Crack you open, buddy. You might contain gas canister. Precisely what I wanted. And also, I'm just going to eat one quick can of beans. Let's just kind of like stuff that in, but stuff that in my chest. That's like mm, delicious can of beans. Uh, right. Radio will also contain electronics. Screw you, radio. Batteries, copper wire. I think that was plastic as well, actually. So, okay, that's a really, really good start. That's pretty much all I wanted to kick off with. Oh, receiver as uh, well. Yeah, apparently uh, people are letting you know that modern cars do know when they're on slippery surfaces. But how? Uh, the tire... The ABS sensors. Uh, well, that sounds... I mean, I, and they can detect when the individual wheels are spinning at two different speeds. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But, like, in my head, I just kind of think of, like, cars as very simple machines. Like, you know, there's just an engine that, I mean, that makes the wheels go. But I guess they're, like, really intelligent to have, like, you know, shit inside them. Like, electronic you you shit. Just, you just think of every car... Every car to you is the car you learn to drive in. Well, no. My, I, I think I imagine cars way simpler. That I just imagine cars as, like... A, a steam turbine that somehow oh, connects sweetheart. to wheels that I like to steer like I'm using a rudder on a ship. Like, that's how I imagine cars. Like, I don't imagine them being sophisticated machines, but I think they are. I suspect they are anyway. It's hard to tell. Yeah, obviously they fucking are, John. Don't, 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 don't use that tone. 
dear, oh dear. Right, we've got loads of plastic. I, FYI, by the way, like, this is brought to you by a girl who, to this day, not knowing how to drive and having not taken driving lessons since I was, like, 17 and I was in an accident and the driving instructor, like, made me keep driving because mm-hmm. he was a twat. Uh-huh. Um, still has nightmares about being... Dr- at the wheel of a car, actually driving, knowing how to drive, and then the car goes out of control because it's too complicated of a machine. Mm-hmm. So, you know, okay, that's the, where the tone comes from. The, co- the car is now fixed. I have fixed the car, for I have developed, like, magical gel that has fixed the car. <laughs> John out here <laughs> with the Flintstones car. <laughs> it's, not, it's not entirely ah. untrue. Uh, Speedball says uh, you can use a pry bar to open the trunk of cars uh, rather than sawing them because ah. it damages less of the junk inside. That does make sense, and mm. I should do that more often. Right, so we've made a good little start here. I just quickly just have a glance at the the map while I'm passing by. So I, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just going to I'm just gonna check out the other two cars on foot. I'm gonna assume my car isn't gonna go anywhere because I put the parking brake on, but it's hard to say. Like God only knows what's what's gonna happen to my car and. I thought I just heard something. Like, so, you know, it's hard to say whether I actually did hear something. And just crack you open. I feel like that's not what people were suggesting. I, I feel like I that's think it's just, just those wibbly things over there. That's just not how you use a pry bar. No, I feel like... That's I'm, hilarious. I, I feel like that's that's significantly damaging my pry bar. I feel like, yes, that 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 did not... that. Also, that... in general, you do understand how a pry bar works. Well, like, yeah, using levers. I, yeah. I understand the concept of a lever anyway. Uh, mm. I feel like that, that pry bar didn't, didn't do its job like I was wanting it to, to be perfectly honest. So, oh, that does remind me. Hang on, the whole point is I could make a b- b- bubbly blub blub. I can make a blibbly blibble. You know, impact hammer. That's why I wanted the gas canister. Okay, so I should go and get the car. Also... Shut. Stay shut. There might be radiation at some point. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Uh, right. Ooh. Shove all of you into here. And now, impact hammer! I've got an impact Apparently hammer Apparently, you could have just opened that particular trunk. Oh, did it, was, it, was, it was I could have just unlocked. lifted it. I could have just tapped a button. I would have opened it. Yeah, it wasn't locked. So, you could have just opened it with your hand. I'm just going to make a new pry bar. And we're just going to dump the old pry bar. And we're just going to pretend that that didn't. Not mention it. So long, pry bar loot. There we go. New better pry bar. <laughs> so long, Mr. Pry bar. Have a good life. Right. Everything's fine. Uh, drive. Ignition. We'll just drive around the corner. We're moving in this direction anyways. So there's no point in not taking the car because we're literally supposed to be driving in this direction regardless. Because uh, this is this is where we want to go. We're just passing through this area. We're not doing like a crazy radiation escape or anything. Though there's also one of them tunnels. Uh, tunnels? Towers. Very similar. Is that similar. like a truck or a house? Huh? That the, the painted thing. Is that a truck or a house? It's like a freestanding, like a... Like a... Like a container. Yeah, like a caravan, but like with science in it. Science caravan. And now I can use my hammer to smash this plasma generator. Which sounds like a dangerous thing you shouldn't do, but it's actually a very sensible thing you should. Uh, and that tower would zap me. So I've just got to go and depower it before it does. And there's also an abductor over there. Don't worry about the abductor. I'm sure it's fine. No, 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 no. Bang. There was only one generator. Right, two things there. Bit of copper. Honestly, don't really need the glass. To be honest, check the abductor's not messing with me. The abductor's kind of chilling out over there. The abductor looks terrifying, but I think it just... It's basically like... I don't know what... What are those cranes with magnets in junkyards called? You know, the way you pick up cars using a big magnet on the roof. Like like in the, like in the Bravest Little Toaster McJibble. Yeah, like the claw, but for cars. Yeah, exactly. And also I with magnets, not, yeah. not claws. It's okay. Bare minimum. We got ourselves uh, one more phone here for more plastic, etc., etc. And help myself to that. One bed as well. None of the rest of that. Let's keep doing that. I mean, I, I assume there's nothing better I could be doing with this than breaking these two guys down for electronics. And batteries, too. Batteries is good. Hey, hey, hey. I want the battery. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. We got the battery. Uh, Right. Everything's fine. 
There is an abductor up ahead, but we're just going to have to, like, make do by just running straight past it. The point is, we've taken out the tower. So, your wibbly lights, which I don't 100% know what you do, but, like, you, you, you seem mostly chill. You seem mostly chill. Also, hang about. Mikar is. There's Mikar. I think, okay, we're rejoining the main road here. We're rejoining the main road. So, what we need to do is hop in the car. Right, so now we're just moving on a little bit. Now, my next destination is, yes, to basically rejoin the main road and make my way over to, yes, McCorpse, which is right here. So, we just basically go follow the road in that direction. We don't need the yellow thing because, yeah, like, we're literally not... Actually, if I take it now, do I not need it later? If I take this now... Then does that, like, charge up my McJibble? What is the yellow thing? The yellow thing is the power for my escape thing that yeah, teleports me back I to the thought. garage. But, like, I don't need to escape from this area. I'm driving to here to drive on to the next area. Mm. Because there's no, there's no exit gates here. But when you pick up here. the escape thing, doesn't it, like, make stuff I think it makes stuff bad. a little bit on the angry side, yes. But I'm not sure if I, if I get it now, yeah, you might as well grab it. I think it powers my thing ready to escape mm. next time. You'll need less later, yeah, says uh, Trenton over in chat. Good. Well, in that uh, case, we may as well grab it on the way people past, People would to be like honest. you to check out the container as well. The container? You know, the thing you said was like a, yeah, the thing with the... Oh, did I walk straight past it? Yes, you did. I probably... You broke the plasma thing, but you didn't go uh, I didn't actually it. go in it. No, fair enough. I mean, it's just a science thing. Which is, it's all Arda's fault. I always thought it was Arda's fault too. Definitely all Arda's fault all along. Oh, hello. There's a TV. I'm not sure I've seen a TV before. Right. Recommended action. Just hit it with a chainsaw till it explodes. While it's currently on. Yeah, exactly. There's definitely no nothing better we can get out of this TV than just by hitting it with a chainsaw. Loads of batteries, which is good. Chemicals. Which is good. Computers, too. Yep, scrap that. Nothing more we could do with a computer than just breaking it down for parts. Brilliant. Still, it generates loads of plastic. Plastic isn't the most common thing in the world. So, honestly, I'm I'm fine with that. Take everything. One backpack, two. That normally just means fabric. Uh, crack you open. Nothing there. Zero rads. Yeah, not a bad little haul. Not a bad little haul at all. Also, ooh, trash can. Forgot the trash can. More stuff, a little bit of scrap, etc, etc. Not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Glad I went bad for that. Thank you very much, chat. But, okay. We'll swing by and grab the yellow thing. We'll check out our own corpse, just to maybe, like, be able to uh, figure out what's going on there. So, okay, that's that should be barely around the corner, in fact. Uh, yeah, just zoom out a little bit. In fact, we'll, we'll drive straight past it. There's no way we can miss it. It's basically on the corner. So, all right, we're already in drive. Turn on the car. Now, if I take a left here, we'll bypass the Wibbles, and we should join up with the main road. I think I saw a main road over here, because, I, yeah, I kind of was following the side path. So this brings us to the main road here. Okay. So we should be heading pretty much straight at our yellow McJibble. We've just got to be a little bit careful of... Okay, the abductor seems to be well over there at the moment, which is good. That's very good. So just stay away from... There it is. I see the yellow thing. Yellow thing's pretty easy to, to see. He's right there. I think it makes enemies attracted to you. I can't prove what, it, though. The yellow McJibble. Yeah. Hmm. But like like many things in this game, like you just sort of have to vaguely intuit it, and the game never actually like really says. Right, before... Just in case things are about to get nasty, I'm going to go disable that tower ahead of me by just going and smashing its generators. So, right, just... Oh, there's lots of mannequins here as well. And it's powered by three things. That's oh oh, also, oh oh shit shit. What's 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 happening? What? I don't know what just happened, but bad things happened. Okay, go 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 go. Go. Just keep it. But something bad just happened on the road. I'm not hundred percent sure what it was, but like a, a bad thing occurred. Anyway, no 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 no. Right. Well, that's off. But something bad just possibly a mannequin exploded. It's hard to say. Whether what precisely what just occurred. Like, can I can I eat some of my oh I left my I left my food in the cooking thing. All right, fine. I'll, 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 I'll do, do give myself some first aid. I think possibly I walked into a mannequin, and that and then it exploded. It's kind of it's it's hard to be certain, but I think possibly a mannequin exploded. Big dance. Last time I was here, this was very very radioactive. 
But we'll see if it, we get rads inside here. Or if it's chill. It seems pretty chill. I'm not, I'm not seeing a huge amount of trouble here, to be honest. So, yep, just more, more cocky batteries, which is marvellous. One workbench, but I think we're okay on workbench stuff for now. I need some more schematics. I'm not sure where schematics come from. I haven't really found any more schematics yet after the very first tutorial one. So, not 100% sure where they go. You see, that is how you pry. If yeah. you want to pry. We, we figured it out. It took us a bit of time, but we got there. Okay, that's that's the important thing. And I don't see anything in the back room. All right, bit of a not 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 a great haul from good old Big Dance here, which is fine. Also, I've kind of left my car alone, and ooh, I could top up my fuel here. But I feel like my fuel is actually, if I'm doing a two leg journey, topping up my fuel while I'm passing by ain't a bad idea, is it? No, that not ain't at a bad all. that that ain't a bad idea at all. Right, while well, I just loot this, Claire, how's everyone down in the chats? Uh, yeah, everyone down in the chat is good. Dan's showed up again and wants to know if you're using modern or tank controls. <laughs> I'm using a controller, as you can probably tell from how, like, you know, slowly and regularly I'm turning around. And and how uh, you can hear the clicky of the buttons. Yeah. Um, uh, but Dan's not the most important YouTuber here who's actually here this evening. I mean, that would be you. No, after, after me as well. The Geek Cupboard's here. Yes. Me and the Geek Cupboard both have a secret. A shared secret. That maybe I'll hint at later in the stream. Um, a shared secret about what I was doing today. Yeah, about what you were doing today for seven hours. Dun, about Chica dun, Bow Wow. Dun. Okay, not... <laughs> John! <laughs> you don't need to sound so surprised how it sounds so unrealistic. Dear oh flippin' dear, Claire. No! No! I'm not objecting to that. I'm objecting to that the fact that this started by you saying that the Geek Cupboard is involved. No offence, the Geek Cupboard. <laughs> You're lovely. Right. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... You see? I just grabbed the thing and he just came and attacked me. And now, now, now radiation's happening, which... I'm going to be honest, I wasn't... Does that happen as a result of... I think we should leave at this point. I'm kind of glad that we took a lot of... We, we did a lot of stuff already. Uh, because... There we go. Just just back away. Back up. That's helpful, car. That doesn't normally happen, which makes me think the car's developed to quirk. Okay, just get mm -hmm. over... To, let's just get out of this. Let's just get out of the radiation. Get out of the radiation. The car is taking a small amount of damage now. Uh, wait, which side is the fuel, the fuel thing on? I remember. I think it's on the. I think if I go over here, this is fine. Because I just want to. Yes, it's it's over here. Right. Turn you off. That. Yes, grabbing the grabbing the thing definitely gets the attention of the uh, of the, ah, the abductors. Good. Yeah. Uh, Amy says uh, those things are stabilizing the zone. Uh, when you remove them, things start to destabilize. Oh, shit gets weirder as a result because they're stabilizing. Okay. Now that, that makes... Does anyone know what happened to my... What happened to my... I had a thing. Pry bar. Yeah. Did I, did I throw it away at some point? It's... I definitely didn't finish using the pry bar. I don't know what happened to my pry bar. Yeah. Well, that's weird and unusual. I definitely didn't, like, fully use it up or anything. There we are. Just break into the toilet to steal duct tape and clothing, as you flipping do. There's, yes, not much going on here. So, okay. Shut this. Now, also, make sure this is properly shut. If this keeps breaking, we might need to either replace it or figure out what the cock's going on. This. There we are, as Dan's visiting. There's Big Dan's. Lovely. Uh, okay. That's, that's yes, I would like to also point out, by the way, that uh, after the last stream that we did... Yes. The, um, the, the little uh, stuffed gorilla... That the, came the stuffed with the gorilla yeah, that came with the gorilla adopt the the fluffy gorilla from the gorilla adoption has arrived. This was not a bit. Claire genuinely bought a gorilla just to annoy me, and it worked. It did, it did work. I just yes, keep but an the eye on plushie you. is cute. Keep an eye on you. Naff off. Stay over there. 
Let's stay over. Oh, that's a nice truck, though. I wouldn't mind having a look, see what's going on. But I'm going to drive well past it because there's clearly an abductor around. So, okay, just stop. Fuel is now well under control because we actually topped up the fuel as we were going. I've never seen this sort of truck before. Though, admittedly, I don't know whether. Well, actually, I'm not sure whether the abductor can abduct me. Like, it's clearly using a magnet. And I'm not made of metal. It's like. How would it? Oh. Okay, I can literally go into the. Oh! Oh, shit, it's full of stuff. Oh, oh, well, that's nice. Including many bulbs and things that. No, no trouble. I'm not made of metal, and you use a magnet. Okay, well, that's that's a good amount of shit right there. Okay, well, that's 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 definitely worth looting, that little truck. I've never been seen one of them before, but that's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that every time. And you are just... Okay, so, yeah, you can just hold. You can just hold a button to open that. I didn't need to whack that with my crowbar. No. The sky's just sort of on fire with, like, weird <laughs> speckles again. Your pry bar is made of metal. <laughs> Lol. That's why I literally changed the flare, actually. I was literally intentionally changing that to the flare. Because I thought, oh, I'll, 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 I'll fix it that way. Ha ha. I'll, yeah, I'll win apparently the game. abductors can steal stuff out of your hands if you run near them. Not, presumably not flares, though. Surely it's got to be metal things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I that's literally why oh, I've still got, I'm still holding a giant metal thing, though. Uh, not, not a steel sheet. Steel, 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 steel sheet. There we go. There we go. We're making we're making some good we're making some good progress here. We're having a good little having a good, fun, good little fun adventure. Good little fun adventure. Claire, why don't I just mosey up the road to find my own corpse? Yeah, shout out to Cara who gave us uh, ten dollars and says uh, here's for gorillas feeding caring. Super fun stream, guys. I can't believe Claire bought a gorilla. Um, this is unacceptable. Uh -huh. I'm not happy about you this. Love fluffy plushies. Yeah, but that, there's no evidence to support this in the immediate vicinity. Uh huh. Aside they're all Pokemon. They're like they play by their own different distinct rules. Stop counting the plushies. <laughs> also, I thought I might be being abducted there, but I think it was just on a slope. Also, oh, Ted's having a drink. I can hear Ted slop slop slopping in the background. Claire's still counting the plushies. It, 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 it's going to take a while. There's like at least twenty five Pokemon plushies, and I'm that. That's just a Pokemon. Yeah, but they're good plushies, so it's fine. I know they're good plushies, but what I'm saying is there are also other video game plushies that are not Pokemon, mm -hmm. and I have not counted them in that amount. Okay, so. officially, my car should be... My dead corpse should be Hi, here. Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, Bunny. Is this my old car? And if so, can I have... Ah! There's some putty. There's my old one thing that I lost. Right, not not much to be honest. I would definitely have more of that on me when I uh when I left. So that's a bit of a shame. Can I actually remove this to to read like uh, not yet. Maybe I will be able to in future, but I can't strip this for parts. So you know what, bare minimum. This is how we died last time. That's that's how that happened. Admittedly, this was like, you know, yet yesterday evening, but the car already looks like this because time is wobbly in the zone. Uh, so I'm sure that's all absolutely fine. So, okay. Let's pop that in the rear. I just enjoy just... Just such a lovely, charming little procedural road trip to go on. You're just kind of, you know, just having a lovely time just moseying about. Though, actually, you know what? I will take, uh, canned food with me. I think canned food, just having that on you is quite a good idea. So, okay. At this point, all we need to do is pretty much, yeah, just drive down the road. We literally are just driving down the road to get to this point over here. So, yeah, just don't don't go off the road at all. I think at this point we can just go. I'm happy to just basically drive straight on. So just drive down the road, obviously avoiding the various problems that probably exist along the road. Like, you know, trucks causing issues and whatnot. But we're in better shape than when we arrived. We've got loads of loot. The car's been fixed up. I've got our hammer back. Honestly, this has gone much better. I mean, in part because it's like, you know day uh, and, and not foggy which therefore and i'm not rushing as much so this is fine everything's fine we literally need to drive down the road how hard can it be to drive down a road in the game about driving down insanity roads just don't ram into mannequins because they explode a lot of stuff is just on the road in this game it's very peculiar like where did all this stuff come from precisely so okay just crack her open on we go clap over to you while we just mosey around the corner and wait for the next insanity to occur. 
Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to the book 778 who uh, gave us five pounds and says, Hello, everybody. Star likes sleeping by my legs under the covers, but she also pads my legs out so I get woken multiple times a night by claws in my thighs. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound so Look, good. she's oh, just oh, oh, making oh, 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 dad biscuits, okay? Star's a good There's girl. There's a lot of electricity happening. Oh, that just did a lot of cocky damage. My car. Are they going to show... Are they in fixed positions? Are they not going to show up again next time I... Not helpful. Wait, is it when I reverse? What causes that? I think it might be a quirk. Reverse. Forward. Okay, the car just took a fair whack of damage. Let's see if we can just get around the outside of them. I'm not sure if they are now... If that was a random event or if those just are there. Well... If they did reappear behind me, I can't see them in the mirrors. So, okay, that just sometimes... Sometimes electricity just comes up. And to, clearly, when that happens, you want to get the flip out of Dodge. Because that's... That cocking hurts. That cocking hurts a lot. I think we can just drive straight past you if we just keep a safe-ish distance. I'm okay. Just, I'm happy just ignoring you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just drive straight past you. Straight past the sign. And we're almost free. Yeah, we don't take the left-hand branch. We knew the left-hand branch was coming. We go around you. And yeah, we should be A-OK. -okay. I'll slap some repair gel on the car before we leave. Clap! Oh. Uh, the book 778 says, uh, Star also purrs really loudly. Last night, she purred so loud that she woke Simba up from a deep sleep just by purring. Oh. Uh, that sounds Ted snores like very heaven. loudly. Yes, Ted has incredibly true. loud snoring. He makes the cutest little loud snores it's very cute yeah at some point i was working on a star field and i was editing like a a kind of sneaky section well, i've got to sneak through here otherwise the people see me it's that yeah yeah, yeah yeah and then yeah. ted started snoring and i was like well now i have to take a break because i can't edit like a quiet section while he's snoring in the same room yeah even that's though I'm on a headphones. completely legit <laughs> completely legit because when he's in the same room as one of us as well, he'll go into like a proper zonked out deep sleep and it's come with big snores. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. This okay. game has the same energy, uh, the same hyperscanic energy as Subnautica, says Kara. Except Subnautica agrees to make sense. Once you like bother learning the rules of Subnautica, you're fine. The game's like, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, you, you have figured it out. Now, now we will play by these rules we've established. The, the this game doesn't play by any aforementioned no. rules. This game's just like fuck you, uh, repeatedly. So okay. Now, before we head on to the next area, I'm going to. No, that's just the fuel. Oh, I should have topped up the fuel can. I always forget I've got a fuel can that's actually held to my car by weird eldritch goo. Because, because why wouldn't it be? We like, you know, obviously. I mean, yeah, that's definitely that's uh, that's prey glue. Yeah, that is kind of prey glue right there. That's that's fair. So okay, we just need to figure out which bits of the car need a little bit of love. Because seriously, that electricity thing did a lot of damage, like a dumb amount of damage. Uh, I feel like you could do with a bit of love. That's you. You keep breaking. So I feel like you definitely need a little bit of love. And luckily I've got loads of this stuff now. You've got a yellow... You've got a yellow marker on you and I don't know what that means. So that's that's all fine. Luckily we've got... We've, we've picked up loads of materials. Hang on. Can, can I see that in this in the, in the thing? Oh no, that's not on there. It's, it's the other side. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Check you. Uh, front left and also... Yeah, the tyre has got... The tyre's marked as something... But I don't know what that means. I just know the game's saying, hey, this tyre's got a yellow thing. And I'm like, yeah, but... That tyre's flat. Uh... Um, by the way, the chat would like you to know that this game does have rules. It's just that they're not laid out clearly. And so maybe they oh, take I'm a sure. little bit yeah, longer to fair. learn. Uh, and so you haven't learned them yet. How do we... Can I make a, a tyre repair kit here? Ceiling kit... I mean, holes and leaks. Is yeah. That, is that what yeah, a, is yeah, that what a yeah, tire yeah. needs? I mean, it sort of seems like it would be. Hey! All right. 
Okay, there nice. we go. Good job. There we go. Now, that was a little bit expensive to make. Unfortunately, that required ah, just as much rubber as I had. So, yeah, look out for little rubber duckies. Rubber duckies are... I think it's just the gateway that roared. I don't think it was anything else that roared. I think it's all fine. So just put all of the rest of that yeah, away. Yeah, good rule of thumb is to scan everything. Yeah. Because if you scan it, it'll tell you what you need. Like, the scan would have told you it was flat. Eh, using, yeah, the McGibbly jibble. Yeah, fine. Uh, but luckily, we figured it out. We, yeah. you, like, you, you, can, you can sometimes apply logic. And sometimes the game is like, lol, that's the wrong logic. How dare you? Uh, so that's all as it should be. So, okay. Now we just literally drive out of here. And we should be... Moving straight on to the next area. Uh, drive. Okay, I think I turned the car off, not on. Now drive. <laughs> Sorry, I cleared it a bit there. Oh, fuck off. It's just there we go. Through here. So oh, now... Oh, dear. Now we move on to our actual destination. We're doing a plot thing. Unfortunately, this area is in perpetual stability because it's plotty. So that should mean there's no radiation doom bubble coming in. So that's fine. So we, we can take things nice and careful. All right, so let's just go over there. It should still be day. It was early morning in the last area. And now three hours are passing. It should be about noon. I think, anyway. So uh, we should be A-OK -okay in that regard. So just keep my eyes open. And we'll all be fine. Ted is so upside down right oh, now. Oh, baby dog. He's upside down oh, with his legs at the most inelegant angles. He just, when he goes upside down, he just kind of has his legs all over the shop. It's like those memes of cats that say, like, um, uh, the, 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 some assembly required. Yeah. He's like that. So by the looks of it, I assume I've, as the gate is offering me the chance to link gateway, I've literally already got enough uh things i've literally already got enough juice to uh charge uh to immediately escape if i want to do so and i assume i've got to be outside of this ring so there's a bit of a mad you know a bit of a mad dash to get there so okay the blue thing is objective area right so my objective area is just around the corner there's also yeah i can't use that way because it's too close you've always got to do a mad dash to the gateway so right there's a huge cluster of buildings over here uh, I see, and basically, we may as well just head to the the main plot area, and just uh, no, not not don't 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 connect to, just pin a waypoint, pin a waypoint round over here. That's fine. So we'll just drive down the road. We'll go to the plot area. We're supposed to be like figuring out something, 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 and that's no, no. There we go. Collapse that. Good. Uh, yes, head into town. Which looks like it would be over here, but I'm guessing the game's taking me... Oh, it's cocking raining. Why is it raining? Why wouldn't it just be sunny? I'm sorry to sound like a Ted. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Ted does not like it when it rains. When it when it's raining, he gets so excited for a walk, and then he, like, puts his nose out the door, and he senses it's ready, so it's like, and then he just freezes the door, like, I don't want to go anymore. Don't make me go. It's like, Ted, I know you need to do a poo. Come on, we're going for... you. Literally, I, I always I, we do a deal with him. Like, as soon as you've done a wee and a poo, then you can come home. We'll turn around and come home if that's what you really want. But he's because he... he does a thing that we tend to call um, expressing preferences. Very strong preferences. He'll just like lock his legs yeah. and yes. look at yeah. you, and then wait until you're walking in the direction he wants to go, and yeah. then he'll go. But otherwise, he's not. Yes. Smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Okay, we're going to the colossal Cappy. Whatever that is, according to the game. We're going to the Colossal Cappy. So, Harry heading into Sirium. That's absolutely fine. We should be... Yeah, I think we can just bypass that. Yeah, if we just go straight up the road, that should be fine. There is an Electro Tower there. But I think if you're driving at, like, full speed past them at some range, they generally don't seem to be able to do much to you. Like, by the time they've started shooting, you're already uh, kind of gone. Oh. Straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. All right. So, yes, I'm driving my car, which is a remnant, towards a bigger other remnant to see if maybe Driver, something, something remnant. Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. 
Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but up is gonna point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. I'm not risking anyone's life. That car's clearly been protecting the newbie. Something special's going on beneath that hood. Besides, where's your sense of experimentation, Francis? Oh, th thanks. But I'm quite content to leave killing someone out of my definition of an experiment. Alright, so we just mosey into town. This all seems pretty chill so far, aside from the slight issues pertaining to, yes, the weather. Which is a little bit unpleasant, so I'm guessing the road conditions are... Oh, 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 back, 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 Ow! Bloody hell. Now, is that going to happen again? Right, sometimes there's just weird electro stuff, and it really damages the car. We'll have to make some more repair gel at some point. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, just keep on keeping on. The... That warning light possibly means you please use first aid on me. <laughs> Bloody cars. Right, just keep on keeping on. If we just head down the road, I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I just follow the one road, that should lead me towards town. And once we get into town, down the bottom of this hill and bear around to the right, at that point, everything should uh, open up a bit. But, yeah, I thought I just saw a sign for gas. Let's go. If we reach the edge of town, the weird red light is presumably the colossal cappy, whatever that is precisely. So, all right. We can top up fuel. We can fix her up. In general, bigger dance. Oh, oh, there are there are broken bunnies, though. No. 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 Bad. Bad broken bunnies. Not entirely sure what a broken bunny is, but like they see they 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 cause trouble. Okay. But if you give them a whack, they seem to just chill out. No. No. I can't remember what happens if you break them, by the way. Just give them a scam. Well, I'm just going to break it apart anyway. What does that generate? Electronics and scrap. Well, they, I think like, if you give them like one boop, they gen you're not chilling out. So you get you just get broken. There we go. More of that. Good. And also the weather's improving. I don't know what broken bunnies are. They appear to just be weird creatures of scrap and electricity and magic. And sometimes they're just dicks to you. It's very unclear why. Uh, but they are. So, okay. Let's just make two more things of that. And, yeah, just slap some uh, healing on. Claire, while I just fix up the automobile. Yeah, and uh, remember... Oh, don't do that. Remember to go fill up your uh, your uh, fuel. Oh, don't worry. That's that's well. next on my thing. Oh, that yes, that that I had forgotten. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Hey, shout out to Jake, who's been a member for forty five months and uh, says it is month forty five. I have tea and some lemon cake in true live stream fashion. Nice. Everyone is fab and good. All the pieces are in place. Nice. Oh, I wish we had lemon cake. Lemon cake sounds pretty good. Mm. Right. So the car's now back in good shape after that. That electricity cocking stings. Mm. That is that is vicious stinging bastards right there. So, okay. Now, like you were saying, before I forget anything else, fuel cam. We're going to uh, fill that up. Now, can I do that? Hang on. How am I going to do that precisely? Like, if I drop you... Then grab you. There's not much fuel here, but there's some. There we go. That works. Yeah. Nice. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there's not a ton of fuel, but the fuel cans also not very big. Yeah. So just grab that. And now we're going to put that... Actually, in all fairness, it probably it might be easier just to actually fill up the car using that. Like, just... And then we'll just... I'll fill that up again. It'll be easier than driving the car in and out again. I'd rather just keep the thing here. So then we'll just put that down. We'll fill it up again. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Alana, who uh, has been a member for 47 months. Hello, Alana. Uh, and they want to know how we both are. How is Ted? 
What is something from the last week that's made you incredibly happy? Uh, a thing I legally can't talk about till Saturday. Um, well, we are both well, yeah. just tired. Ted is doing great, as always. Yeah. Um, but we are yes. edging closer to many a true kittens, as some of you who follow me on Twitter might be aware. Not not immediately. You know, we're, we're now starting to do, like, actual preparations, like, you know, yeah. figuring out what we need to get to prep for a kitten room and stuff. So it's not going to be, like, immediate, but we're working on it now properly. Uh, Just... And what? I don't know why there are just suddenly two. Well, isn't Someone that... just flung two doors at isn't me. Isn't that like a dumpster that's happy to see you? I don't think so. That was just a normal crate. When... Mm. Did you just fling two doors at me? Where did those doors come from? Well, that was weird. But that, that did... Welcome to Cocky Pacific Drive, I suppose. Uh, right. But yes, I would say probably for me, the thing that... Uh... I mean, yeah, it made me happy, but also it's just a big relief because it's a, a big to do that was uh, that was on my list that I've been worrying about for a long time. That's got to uh, finally finish. But uh, oh, you're building weekend, your garden building. Uh, I made uh, a bunch of garden beds. You did, and they look really good. Yeah, I'm really happy about you it. You made them in like you made the big, the huge one in like half a day. It's really cool. Mm. You, you shared photos on Twitter at all? Uh, no, but that's because I just haven't really been on Twitter. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Right. Uh, Crack open all of you. Nothing there on this occasion. Big Dance is sometimes radioactive. Sometimes not. Sometimes got good shit. Sometimes not so much. But, like, it's a pretty decent-sized environment. It's got a crafty table, which is... I'm not sure why there's a workbench here. Like, I'm not sure this workbench can do anything I can't do in my own car. Like, so I'm not 100% sure why it exists, actually. Uh, but... Bare minimum, I see one. Oh, way more crates here than the, the last one. Nice. Everyone loves duct tape. I've played too much Fallout 4. I see duct tape in a game, I pick it up. Like, it was, it was, it took me a long time to unlearn picking up duct tape in Starfield. Because the vacuum tape isn't actually, <gasps> like, tape. It's, it's just, it doesn't do anything. Which feels, especially which feels it's really weird in a game where adhesive is literally a component you need a lot of. But, like, you find, you know... Flipping vacuum tape, which is clearly being used in space as adhesive, and the game's like, no, that's counting. Like, Why does it count? Someone's using it as adhesive. Why aren't I? Yeah. Uh, so people are saying uh, that uh, sometimes mannequins do throw things. Okay. Well, much mm -hmm. it hurt me. Or if it did, it was not ah. much. So that's fine. And uh, just uh, your workbench question: Your car is a level one workbench. The uh, Big Dan's is a level two workbench. Ah. So there's just some things you won't be able to make in your car. Well, thankfully for now, I'm not sure I've even got any of those. So that's fine. Yeah, and so, people okay. are just confirming in Pacific Drive. Just take literally every single thing. Yeah, basically. Uh. So okay, if I just drive it straight through the gas station out the other side, that's going to take me to here, uh, which is my next destination and getting me close to town, which is fine therefore. Uh, there might be like a few things dotted about here. There's there's a wibbly, good old wibbly wobbly, um, lovely, lovely sexy mannequin that's just spawned Ooh. inside a truck. Mm, Beautiful. I don't like it. I think it's, I don't think it's supposed to be creepy. I think it's just glitching. But, but in this it game it's hard to tell. Though. It's hard to tell. And you don't really like your horror films, to be honest. We've never really watched horror films together. because Oh, you, yeah, no, I don't. I'm a wimp. You're not into horror films. Not even, like, you know, the fairly tame horror films that are, like, you know, just spooky or whatnot. I, but the thing is, like, I find, you know, psychological horror and, like, you know, people being horrible monsters to each other way scarier. Mm -hmm. And, like, just a gore horror movie doesn't really... I mean, it's fun. There's not much gore horror these days. It was way more of a thing back in, like, the 90s. Used to yes, be but that's... I think that that I find amusing, whereas... I think it's sad there is not more of it yeah. these days. There's there's two there's two little genres of films that we should bring back. We should bring back the absolute ridiculous over-the-top buckets of blood everywhere film. Yeah. And we need to bring back the absolutely needlessly over the top horny horror films because they used to have they used to have them all the time like they were a rite of passage for teenage boys back uh -huh. in the day and we don't make them anymore where are the ridiculously unnecessarily horny horror films 
Bring them back. I want needlessly horror. I mean, do both at the same time. Do a needlessly horny horror film that's also just got buckets of blood in it. We want more, damn it. We want more. So, okay, we should be pretty much mm. approaching our destination at this point. Yeah, if I just go onto a little track here and then maybe loop around if need be. But it's going in a straight line. Should be. Put into drive. Should be okay. So, okay, something's weird's going on here. The colossal cappy. Oh, hang on. There's. Can I just go straight here? The car might. Oh, oh, oh. It's a bit of a bit of a slope. Bit of a slope. Bit of a slope. Bit of a slope. There's a, there's some light radiation, but I might be able to <laughs> partly drive around it. John, it's called games Game of Thrones. Go around. There we go. Everything's fine. There's there's definitely some rate. Okay, the car's taking a little bit of light damage as we drive into the radiation oh, zone. So we want to get back out of here. Oh, hello, OP. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to higher ground? Okay, you want me to get up to higher ground. Oh, uh, well, it looks like there might be a way to get around up here. But at this point, the car is taking a little bit of damage as time goes by, which is not not great. Uh, yeah, I'm taking damage here. Just loop loop around, loop around, loop around, loop around. High ground. Ah, this way. Looks if I go this way and find a way up. Are we out of the... Okay, we're out of the danger zone right now. Right, hang on. Let's just reorientate ourselves for a second. Looks to me like, yeah, if I go... Oh, yeah, that's exactly where the game's suggesting I go. If I just loop around this way and then loop back on, back in on myself, that should be about right. I've just got to find a way to get up. So that's that's not too bad. Uh, I've just got to figure out, yeah, how to how to get up there. Because uh, that does not look like I'm going to be able to drive... No, a car ain't going to do that. Okay, you stay here for a second, buddy. I'm going to scout out on foot. Try and find a way to, yeah, get up. Though, oh, hang on. There's definitely a path. Okay. If I go literally back the way I came, it looks to me like, yeah, if I go here, there's like a railway crossing. So it's here. That's where I want to go. So, okay. That's absolutely fine. So put myself in drive. Turn myself around. Turn the car back on. Fuel should be a-okay. Everything should be a-okay for the time being. So, yeah, we're heading over in that direction. But yeah, I've just got to ah, I've got to be a little bit careful around the the railway track is gone a bit bananas, so we can't go up that way. If I go this way, we might be able to. Maybe there's a tiny bit of okay, it's just a little, it's a little bit, a little bit, little bit of radiation, little bit of light radiation. Also, just round the tree. Uh, I'm sure it's all fine. I've just got to get a bit to here. We go to here, and then yeah, if we just get to that point, and then we take the point, and then we take a right when we get to this. This should be a, a way to get up into town. I think we're out of the... Yeah, no, there was a bit more radiation there. A little bit more radiation. Or wibbly, whatever this stuff is. Right, take a right here. The map suggests there's going to be a road over here. This will get us out of the radiation. Good. Uh, I've just taken a very, very light bit of damage to this. Okay, before we enter the next radiation... Yeah, if we just take a... If we just go up to a here-ish... And then I can take a left and we can chill out there. So, just basically, yeah, follow the radioactive road. We'll fix up the car when we get up into that direction. That'll be a good a good moment to fix up the car. Basically, the road is, at this point, so weird and wobbly and blurry. I can't really tell what's road versus what isn't. Are these blue lights okay? I'm not 100% sure I think these blue lights are okay. And I'm not 100%. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I see you. Uh, right. Can I deactivate you? Can I, like, smash your power source with a hammer or something? Well, that's a bit of an annoyance. Uh, okay, hang on. Scan it. Sizzling mist. Open the logbook. Just said open the logbook, but fine. Sizzling. Sizzling mist, yeah. There we go, sizzling mist. Presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm. Okay, how do I avoid it? It's possible for us to replicate some of this paper in a lab, budget permitting. Isn't this exciting? Okay. Not really any information as to how to avoid it. I'm not going to be able to drive up this slope. That's never going to work in a million cocking years. I am just going to have to, yeah, try and skirt around it. I'm going to take a little bit of light damage as we go through, probably on the edge. But mm, we're just going to have to make do. 
Uh, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, the car was... No, I thought the car was taking damage there, but it wasn't. It was all fine. Right. Go. Go. Just try and just get past it as fast as possible. Fast as possible. Fast as possible. Fast as possible. Good. You just can squeeze past that. That's good. Ignore the mannequins. This place is creepy. I don't really like this place, to be honest. No. No, not, not, not much at all. Right. Now this, if we've got this right, should be... Yeah, if I take a right here, that should get us to where we want to go. But there's also a whole bunch of buildings to the left. So I'm going to do the left first because I think... Actually, you know what? I may as well part the check, check how far I'm allowed to go in this direction. Let's just go to... There we go. A little bit further forward. A little bit further forward. Okay, so that's just nothing but science buildings here. Right, so that that's where we are going. But don't worry about that for now. For the time being, hop out, have a bit of a luxury over here. Because, yeah, there were definitely a whole bunch of buildings here as well. But this place is creepy as balls, and I don't like it. Not not keen. Not keen on this in the slightest. But, like, nothing in this game seems to directly attack you. Like, some things, like, do indirect damage to your car. But they never actually attack. And they can attack you and do damage to you, but, like... There's no, like, and I suppose you have, you know, a chainsaw, which is technically a sort of weapon. But, like, it feels weird to say there's no combat in this game. When there are enemies that mm. attack you and you've got weapons to attack them straight back again. But, like, there's kind of no combat in this game. Kind of no combat in in a weird way where there's blatantly enemies, etc, etc. Ooh, TV. Right, well, you get broken down for scrap, obviously, and there's... Ooh, pressurized cartridge. I don't know if I've seen you before. Well, that's rather exciting. Right. Keep on keeping on. Everyone loves... Everyone loves a TV. Claire, while I just do some looting and scrapping. Uh, yes, indeed. So I've shared pictures of the new uh, raised beds oh, in good. the chat. Excellent. Uh, and yes, indeed, we've got a message from Gary who gave us five pounds and says, Hey, John, Claire and Ted, I am doing a third Elden Ring run. I've done a dexterity <laughs> and intelligence. Numbers. I've done dexterity and intelligence builds. Uh, what are the fun builds and weapons would you recommend? Love you guys. Do they say dexterity well, and... Oh, oh hello, Tobias. Maybe that'll get you the height you need. Yes, I'm aware of the old bridge. Don't worry, I'm just looting first. They say dexterity and intelligence. Yes. Uh, Faith is actually like my favorite build at this point, just because I think there's a lot more variety in Faith than you get in intelligence. Like a lot of intelligence boils down to tossing blue peas at the enemy. Whereas in Faith, uh, you get like, you know, there's a huge amount of really good fire. There's also a huge amount of like, you know, really, uh, there's the dragon incantation, which is super fun. There's like, you know, you've got pest threads, you've got lightning, you've got holy damage, which I know it doesn't do well against the final bosses, but like is, is very good against some other bits and pieces. Like, there's, I, I think Faith is way more diverse and interesting, and has got some amazing weapons too, like, oh, that's bad. Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware you're electrocuting me, dear, oh, flippin' dear. Just, just stop it for one second, please. Thank you. Uh, I, I personally now prefer Faith over Intelligence, and I think I'll be taking a Faith character into uh, Shadows of the Erd Tree, uh, personally. I think that's, uh, I think that's uh, what I'll be doing. So, yeah, definitely try Faith. Uh, it doesn't need to be necessarily, like, pure faith. Or, like, you know, you can mix in a little bit of strength as well. Like, you know, kind of like uh, Paladin style. A little bit of strength, a little bit, uh, quite a lot of faith. But, like, going a fairly heavy faith is kind of hilarious, and I do quite enjoy it. Uh, but, like, if you're not in a faith build, yeah, the incantations, to my mind, are more fun than the sorceries. Like, I think, the, the bare minimum, I think it's... I think it's fairly objectively true, and no one would disagree, that bare minimum, you are, you get more variety. They're more diverse uh, in, in many ways. So, yeah. I, 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 yeah, definitely do a faith build. Like, I can take or leave Arcane, to be honest. Like, I've tried Arcane, and I always kind of bounce off it, like, uh, they're not, like, after not too long. Uh, but, like, uh, faith, I, I, I come back to a lot. I think faith is hilarious. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. I'm just getting gardening advice from chat now, by the way. That's great. You just hijacked the chat for gardening on a regular basis. 
No, that's not true. Last time it was tools. <laughs> those are very. Those are. Ta- those are very much adjacent things. Uh-huh. That's adjacent. Anyway, uh, shout out to Chupa Thingy who uh, became a channel member. Um, I'm sure they've been before, but uh, welcome back to the Green Club. Um, and they also gave us five dollars and said uh, that currently on TV they've got a very sweary FTL stream where everyone dies and there's an unlucky shirt. Nice, uh, nice. And it's helping uh, the husband rest post surgery uh, on the phone this stream for me. Thank you and love MATN. Love you too. Also, I'd never noticed till right now that mm. when you eat canned food, you lose the canned food, but you gain a scrap metal because the can counts as scrap. That's lovely. That's very That's cute. That's so That's nice. That's super cute, actually. I'd not noticed that to write out. Just these little touches like that make a game and give it so much personality. So, okay. Before we go in proper, just, you know, make sure we've checked the... Because, yeah, those are all residential buildings and these are science buildings. I'm going to need another... I'm going to need another gas canister at some point because, you know, my hammer's going to to run low, etc, etc. So I'm going to check the science buildings too. Let's loot all the things. Clap. Mm. Uh, yes, indeed. We've got a message from the great Loud Lobster, who's been a member for 31 months. Uh, and says thank you for convincing me to try Civ 6 again. Uh, I've won my first Marley game with the great strategy of here's some money, leave me alone so I can do science. That yeah, that's that's the strategy right there. That is completely oh. the strategy. I I do this, I do that a lot though. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Tokugawa recently. I like just being uh, just basically yes, yeah, just hiding in my own little corner of the map. I had a ridiculously overpowered run as Eleanor of Aquitaine, where basically I just at one point hit a golden... I just hit a golden age, and I just basically won by domination by mistake. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of couldn't stop it. It just got out of hand, and and in the end I just kind of won. Uh, I didn't really mean to. It just sort of happened. I I just ate the world. I just kind of basically just marched forwards with my grand armies of paintings. And, and everyone was like, yeah, we want to join you. Like, the whole of Babylon joined me. And they, like, the, the weirdest thing about Simpsons, it's something I think arguably ought to be changed at one point, is it is weird how no one objects to all of your cities flipping. Like, no one, like, you know, Babylon was like, after 80% of their empire had joined me, they were like, absolutely like, hey, I want to be your best friend. Should we sign alliances or whatnot? I was like, are you sure you're not mad? Like, I, I've stolen everything. I've stolen literally everything you own. You were winning this game, and now you've got, like, 80 science, and I've got 10 bajillion. Like, you absolutely 100% you want to be friends. So, yeah, I love you. You're the best. But, yeah, even though, like, everyone gets really pissed off if you, like, you know, say, I don't know, religiously convert them. But, like, if you if you steal their cities, they're like, yeah, I'm fine with you. I want to I want to be best. I want to be uh, best friends forever. Which I find curious. I feel like you know stealing cities ought to annoy them, but like it, it doesn't. There's no there's no negative to re- reputational relationships if you um if you steal cities, which is weird, isn't it? That feels weird to me, but it, but it is what it is. It's okay. We've also got a lovely sexy tower here, so we can just start you know breaking. It feels weird just run to computers yeah. and be like, yep, I'm gonna break you apart. Uh, shout out to Alexis in chat who says, uh, this sounds like my last Eleanor game. I abandoned it because it felt too cheesy. No, it, it's true. This was on Deity, by the way. Like, what, if Eleanor gets... Was that gets... the one that lasted you until, like, four in the morning? I can't remember, possibly. Now, hang on. This is... I, I can never figure these out. The... Blah, 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 the converting McJibbles. Like, as I understand it, this is trying to tell me, if you feed me glass... I will give you presumably electronics. So as a result of that, if I feed it glass, and I've definitely got glass, hang on, which is, where's, where's my glass? There's my glass. Feed it glass. It just spits out glass. Am I reading it backwards? Am I supposed to feed it electronics to get glass? Hang on, I've definitely got some electronics too. Uh, you, you can have them, why not? No, can't be stored here. So it definitely wants glass. But if it wants glass, why does it... Why do I give it glass? And it's like, here's glass back. What am I not getting here? Why am I feeding it glass and it's spitting out glass again? Why isn't it... Why isn't the transmuter 
transmuting gives you glass back because you don't have enough. Okay. Well, I've definitely... Right, well, I'm coming back for you. I'm making this work because glass is incredibly common. Okay. Glass is so common. So as a result of that... Yeah, there's some more glass. There's some more glass. Right, I just got some glass out of the TV. Uh, and this, I feel like I should be able to get glass out of this, but I just can't get glass out of this. Oh, I'm coming back with... Oh, hello. Also, I think I needed to come up here anyway to get but to get my car access. Sorry, I just did a plot by mistake. I didn't really mean to, but I just did a plot. Right, so it needs more... Okay, if I fill up the thing with glass, if I fill up the thing with glass, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and get all the glass. All right, I've got tons of glass, because like when you break down car doors like they produce a bit of glass i've got ah, top yeah, okay. of glass uh you need to it doesn't tell you how many glass to put in there but you need more uh it's a certain specific ratio and they think it might be four to one or five to one something like that somebody else said uh eight glass for one electronic mm -hmm. uh so, oh uh it's not the same for every single one so, uh, for most of those, you need loads and loads of glass. To... Well, I've got cooking 16. I'm, I'm yeah, using uh, this. Iskierka says uh, the minimum I've seen is like 4 to 1, and some are like 9 to 1. Yeah. Ooh, pressurized canisters. I've not seen you guys before, but I, you, you strike me as useful. Lab computers are also generating electronic components and copper, which has got to be... It can't be bad. I've literally already been in here, but I missed half the stuff in it, which is hilarious. Uh, right. Back to you. Back over the... Please don't explode. Thank you for not exploding. I appreciate that. Uh, right. Well, at least I found the plot building straight away by mistake. Look. Me and you, Mr. Transmuter. We're going to do this. So, right. 16. There we go. It gave me literally one electronics and then right it's like an eight to one ratio or something yes is that what that means does that mean yeah one hang on, one two three four five there's that circle is made up of five and then there's two fifths there suggesting a seven to one ratio i guess maybe. which is why i gave it no if it was a seven to one ratio i gave it 16 it would have produced two electronics because that would have been 14 equal two electronics with two left over so in which case Yeah, I would I would read that as yeah five either five to two or seven to one. Uh, the symbol tells you how many times you can use it. Yeah, fair enough. And yes, Tobias, I know I'm just looting. It's fine. I've even actually I've even like done, I've even like done the McGibbly Jibble. It's okay. Though I'm a bit concerned that when, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna drive out there because it yeah. feels like I'm gonna be sucked up into the air. Yeah, uh, the the pie chart tells you how many uses the machine has left. Okay. It's a little yeah. bit concerned that, like, I'm about to be sucked into this weird maelstrom thing. And also the game was implying, like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to... It's going to reveal your car's true nature to you. And that worries me. Like, do I want to know my car's true nature? That's, like... My car's my friend at this point, like... I don't know, it feels impolite to know my car's true nature by taking it to, like, a... Like, it's like, you know, I wouldn't tie you to a chair and then give you truth serum in order to, to learn things about you. I just ask. I just yes, ask. Yes, I and, suppose and, I see and what you mean. And trust that you were, like, be, that you were, like, I, I wouldn't tie you to a chair in general unless you asked me to. Um, but, like, yeah, that's just... Yeah, do you have the car's consent for learning its true nature, I suppose, is the question. Exactly. And it, well, it's hard to communicate with the car. Sometimes the radio comes on and weird, wibbly noises come out of it, but I can't cock and understand them. So it's, it's very hard to determine to what extent, if any, the car has consented to this process. What if yes. the car's true nature is puppy? That can't be true. You know why? Because when it sees me, the windscreen wipers don't turn on and go vroom, 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 vroom. that would be so cute if every time it saw you and the it windscreen flip wipers on its wag back, so that's... it doesn't flip on its back so you it did that one story. time but that was a mistake <laughs> that was one time and it was a mistake and it wasn't supposed to happen uh right let's just before we go into the radiation zone repair the damage and why are you not just equip Thank you. 
Uh, right. The the damaged bits are front right and Ooh, yes. hood. Just a little bit, not hugely. There we go. Lovely. So that's all absolutely... Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were so close. Rhyme, you, you probably almost exploded there. Dear, I've been dear. Right. Shove you back in the thing. Close the thing. Right. We're driving in. This is the... I enjoy how that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And also it appears to be warning me about bread. <laughs> warning. Bread. Bread. Uh, so warning. I'll... Bring bread with you. It's, it's... Maybe it's like one of those uh, signs in Australia when you're about to enter a bit of bush that like is going to last days and days and days that's like do not go in here without provisions you will die it seems reasonable to me right turn on the thing activate drive and now we're just going to go in and we're going to see what the shit happens like the car's in as good a shape as oh, okay one that one of the headlamps is actually damaged i didn't see that uh but that's fine probably mm, i've already lowered the thing close enough to Cappy. i'm what aware about? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? Oh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? That is simple. The driver jumps yeah, let's the car do it. the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and... And... Does anyone know what just Oh, I'm back. Oh. Hello, OP. Can you hear me? Hi. Happy fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Okay, so once again, I've gone insane. So far, but, oh. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. So, all right, explore the zone. A very vague little destination, uh, a very little uh, vague guide at this point, but that's fine. Right, I need to fix up the car, fuel her up, recharge the battery, uh, you know, unload her. All that, I, I, I don't know. I would imagine this is something that appeals to me, but wouldn't appeal to most people. This game's been very popular. So clearly there's a lot of people out there who are just into doing routine car maintenance and little funny odd jobs. Like, you know, basically bringing in the shopping from the car. Like, which which is basically what this game is about, which I find deeply delightful. This game is, is all about just bringing in the shopping. Uh, and I, 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 I like that. That's, that. that's excellent right there. So I'm just going to dump all this in the locker. It's all good to be fine. Claire, while I do that. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Dreadnought, who's been a member for 67 months uh, and says, I just joined chat only to hear John say, sometimes I'm a dumbass. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just know it's going to be a good day. I, 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 I can admit this. I'm, yeah. I'm happy to admit this. It's fine. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, and shout out also to Mothfoot, who gave us uh, seven, $7.50 and says, John, have you heard of like the XL eSport competitions? Someone told me that was a thing and I immediately thought of your Excel video. Yeah, I, I, whenever this happens, I always have to bring up the dumbest, nerdiest answer imaginable, which is I'm aware of them, but they're not, they, they are not about utilizing Excel in the same way I utilize Excel. Um, oh they God, they don't they don't act. It's not actually dog. the same Excel discipline. My specific zone of Excel discipline um, is uh, report automation and data visualization. I'm very good at it, um, and that's not really what that's about. So putting the ah the detailing station, which is not the paint shelf, right? So uh, yes, that that's a different bit. Uh, that's a different thing. 
uh, from from Aww. my personal area of expertise. Uh, hey, John. Yes. Uh, Amy Grace in chat points out that the voice actors for both Op- Oppie and Tobias are actually in Sim Settlements 2. Yeah. That's really cool. Do we know which Sim Settlements 2 characters? Uh, yeah, I'd love I do to know. know that. So, okay, fabrication station. I should now be able to set up the detailing station. Yeah, load, scrap metal, electronics, and rubber. No trouble there. So, okay. I've got a new gear McJobbler I can use. So, right, grab you. So, I've literally got something to shove in there. So, okay, put you over. Not over here. I thought it was in that corner. But no, it was over, it was over here. Over here. Set up a new thing. There we go. Magic occurs. There we go. We've got all sorts of little things. I assume I bought a... I assume I brought a... Did I get the review code for this? I can't remember. There's a lot of pride. I'm getting a very large amount of pride I could put on my car at this point. Um, Which is cute because people earlier when you were talking about the pry bar yeah. kept hearing it as pride bar. <laughs> like we should paint it rainbow and break shit with it and it's a pride bar. Did I... I don't remember if I got review code for this. If I just bought this. I thought I just bought this. Normally, if you just buy the basic version, you don't get that much stuff. Like, you normally get, like, 10 bajillion extra uh, decals or whatever for uh, for that. So, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe they decided that specifically when it's pride themes, you don't want to make people pay for that. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Hang on. Space pups, UFO, spaceship steering wheel. Nice. But hang on, how does this how does this work? Ah. So if I put that in, right. So what am I actually? Yeah, install a spaceship thing. Absolutely. Have a little have a little UFO dangling. Have a little have a little like of the space pup bob. This is my bobblehead slot. Excellent. So I think I, I picked up the crowbar shifter, but I'm gonna be honest. I, I prefer yeah, the astral obviously. shifter. I prefer that one. Then there's just then there's a then there's a starfighter and a wishing star. And now aha, now I get to choose oh. right. So these are left these are left and right stickers. Dude, and so cute. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm going to admit my ignorance here. I don't know what abrosexual is. Mm. I that one I do not know. I've I've just Claire, let's show what uh, show what abrosexual is because I have I do not all the rest of these I think I'm familiar with. Uh but I do not know abrosexual yeah. actually. What is that sexual one? Sexual fluidity having different levels of sexual or romantic attraction throughout your life says to me the Google because I also did not actually know. So what is the distinction between that and bisexuality? It's just levels that yeah. shift throughout your life and your yeah, fluid. Fair I enough. Mean, I, I think, I mean, I say this as, you know, like a cis straight girl who, you know, but I think from what I know, like, a lot of people could technically, if you wanted to just look at the definition, use a bunch of different terms. Look how bright my star is. That's excellent. But people get to choose the label that works for them. Fair enough. So it's nice to have a bunch of different labels. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I genuinely was not familiar with that one. So Yeah, me either. Okay, that was the... And we have confirmation, by the way, from Amy Grace and Trinton. Thank you so much. That, actually, um, all the Pride flags come in for free with the standard version. Ah, okay. So, okay, this is the radio decal kit, the shuttle. That's paint. So, okay. If I equip you, does this mean I can make all of my... Okay, it's it's blue, but it's blue in the sense that there's there's a lot of matching paint. I mean, I was kind of hoping for it's it's blue under it being blue taped up. It's blue under the rust. Yes, there's. Oh, you were hoping that you could cover up the tape and the rust. I mean, we could you could sort of yeah. I was hoping we'd get rid of the rust. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see what. what some of them it says like, is is that blue already? The game's like yes, that's blue already. That that's blue already. It's it's okay. You know, it's it's looking more matching than it was. Yeah. Like a a little bit, but like this is like you know, is that is that blue? I think the game was saying like yes, that's yes, say like warning matching paint. So it's it's hard. Sometimes it's it's hard to tell whether something is actually matching blue or not, which is fascinating. So we're going to put you away. I've also got yes decal kits. 
So hang on. Equip that. Decal kit. If I put that on, say, here, what does that mean? Ooh. Okay, well, obviously that. Uh, yes, obviously we're putting we're putting that on. Like, literally everything. Every panel. Why, why would I not want... Why, 11 out of 10 came of the year. Why would I not want that? That's, that's... Can I also... Can I also... I can't put that on my... I can't tires, put that on no. my tires, unfortunately, so which is cute. very... Okay, so we can have glow-in-the-dark astronaut. Okay, well, that's going on literally everything. Claire, why don't I just fix the, my entire car up with glow-in-the-dark children's bedroom McGibbly jibbles? I had those... Like, even into being a teen, I think. Oh, anyway. they are awesome. Shout out to Stu, who gave us uh, $20 and says, Hello, John Claire and Best Boy Ted! Um, as always, thank you for all that you guys do. It really helps in a lot of ways. I have to ask, having watched many videos, what is John's fascination with shotguns? I, I just... Well, as someone who's never used a gun outside of, like, an air rifle in a fairground setting or whatnot, there's just... Guns are boring. If you think about it, like, oh, you, you pull a trigger and a bullet goes the direction the gun's pointing. You're like, well, it's pretty boring gunning, isn't it? But, like, a shotgun, you're sort of just, like... It's like playing the lottery of guns. You're just like, you know what? There's someone over there... Am I going to not hit them at all or hit them with 17 bullets at the same time? I don't know. Let's cocking roll the dice, mother flipper. It's just a more fun way to do murder. That's that's it. I think that's a good explanation. Uh... <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, B says, uh, memory unlocked. We had glowy stars on the roof of our first bedroom. I wish I did. I'm not sure I ever had that. But uh, I did have Power Rangers quote cover at one point. So that's kind of, that makes it worthwhile. I mean, the thing is, I had glowy stars like that on my ceiling. But yeah. I also had, like, a, a big platform bed that had, like, my desk and everything underneath. Yeah. So, actually, I didn't have that much room between, like, my actual mattress and the ceiling of the room where oh. the stars were. Um, this is generally going to make it easier to find my car in the dark. Nice. When I'm out at night, it's genuinely going to be easier to find my cocky car, which I find delightful. Um, anyway, when I was in high school one time, I almost went to school with, like, glowy stars from the ceiling in my hair because they nice. had fallen in during the night. Oh, check out my new dumb oh thing. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Little My little space dog and my glowy thing. Like, I found a crowbar gear shift out of the world. Well, now I don't want it. Uh, so, okay. There is also... Damn, greatest description of a shotgun ever. <laughs> Good, I'm glad some people agree with that. So, okay. You, you missed a left rear panel for stickers. The left rear panel? This one, did I? It looks like it's done. Or is that the chassis, not the left rear panel? Oh, sorry. It's a, it's a, it can be. It's a bit hard to tell. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, right. Uh, equip. Do I not? Are you not done? You yes. are right. That actually has that has shone through the rust a fair bit. Like that That's has actually really that has actually got rid of some of the rust. So good. That actually is better. And you've Thank got it you. like on the roof as well, don't you? Yeah, because I think I I did the whole chassis with it which is really Huge. cool so like it's That's a little so it's, it's on the roof nice. genuinely it's going to make it easier to find my car in a, a, in the night which is beautiful absolutely beautiful and i like to think my car likes this my car's like you know what i'm fabulous i appreciate this well, yeah obviously i like, your think, car I like my it. i think my car's into this so uh, okay chupa thingy chupa thingy says john knows about as much about shotgun as he does about cars and that that's that's fine. Ah, Kara says you can find stickers and stuff in gas station vending machines sometimes. Well, that's useful. Oh, I wonder if I have to smash them open or if I have to like not put money for into us, them or given something. we're never changing those stickers. They're too amazing. Exactly. Right. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. The headlights need a quick fix. The only links in the village says the fact that I played for fifty hours and had two lockers full of decals. I never found any of these. Lol. Well, then that's good, then. That's uh. excellent news, in fact. So, yes. Admittedly, I don't know the fact these don't match. I feel like, actually, I might want to take you out and pop you down and then craft a new 
crude headlight, which I've got plenty of materials for. And put that on, because then, then it will actually match. There we go. Now the car actually matches. Yeah, now the car has eyelids on both sides. Yes, exactly. It's, it just looks like it's got a bit more personality to me, to my mind. Uh, so, yes, I'm, I'm happier with that now. Uh, so, we've got that. The car is now in reasonable shape, though I need a new scrapper and a new crowbar. So, I may as well break down all uh... of you. So, yeah, put you in there. Put you in there. So, I've also got... Ah, the old headlight. That can go in there as well. And you can go in there too. Let's just break all of them down for parts. Uh, and then I will make new... So yeah, I've just got to make a new crowbar and a new scrapper. So we're going out there with fresh tools. As far as I'm aware, I'm not sure you can recharge them. I think you just have to... There might be tech that lets you, that lets you do that over time. But I don't know what it is. Uh, so what was I saying? Uh. New pry bar. New scrapper. And there we go. Everything and, is everything um, is fresh and lovely. Are you able to research new parts for your car at all? I mean... Because apparently you could get better headlights than the one you've got right now. Uh, Expanded locker for a bigger locker. Improved antenna. Matter regenerator to, uh, yeah, to fix parts. A fax machine. Oh, dear. That doesn't really do anything. Possibly if I went towards... Okay, advanced workbench feels like it would be, you know... Logically, uh, will or be... you can just go to Big Dan's. That's true. If I was to find that expanded locker, experimental charging station, I mean, it feels to me like if I want to go to that direction, then I probably want to go to advanced workbench, doesn't it? Mm. So I can immediately do matter regenerator. Uh, so that ah, like... you can uh, check the other tabs for more upgrades. Oh, there's there's other tabs. Oh shit. Mm. Okay, well, we're, oh, I may have missed some uh, some alternative things. Hang Bless on. You, darling. Hang on, hang, hang on. There's. Oh shit. There's. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. There's like there's like ten tabs. Oh shit. Well, this was quite a big chair. Thing. Okay, well, this will be the entire game then, because that's holy shit. Okay, well, that's that's fascinating. Okay, so that's how to make things. <sighs> this is how to write. Okay, then, though, some of these need, yeah, uh, unstable energy, which I've not really been out to yet. Blowtorch, light replacement kit, a liberator, and also my car's just turned on and started, oh, the, my car's just started doing Bible verse at me, I think. Or, or play me Christian radio, it's hard to say. Anchor radio, an enormous energy that the enormous energy that anchors generates gives off unmistakable signatures, uh, I thought we already knew where they were. They were just on the map, but all right, fine, sure. Impact hammer, magnetic hammer. Excellent. So, okay, crude... Ah, here we go. Crude headlight up to headlights. So, if I want better headlights, I can do it that way. Then side floodlights, which I'm going to miss. Ah, I need to unlock a side rack for, which is right. There's a lot of stuff going on here, though. I need a research bulb... In order to do that, I don't know, I've never seen a research bulb. I've never seen a research bulb. Uh, hang on, refine bulb. Re bulb. Bulb does not evolve into research bulb in the refine tree that we just saw. So, But yeah, so I can't have better headlights just yet. I could potentially have a better quality. I need to re research. Oh, no, research steel sheets. Does it? It's not. It's not a research light bulb. It's research light bulb. Oh. Okay. So you. Yeah. If you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Research bulb. Just so I literally know what a bulb is. Right. It's not a difference. So I. I got it. I got that, Chad. Don't worry. We got that. We got there in the end. So yes, I can do that. Now we've done that. <laughs> Hang on. Now it's saying. I just did. I just need to research the bulb. Wait. Yes. Blueprint bulb. Ah! Right, I need to look at it. Sorry, I need to look at it, officially. Now we've researched the bulb. So now if I wanted to, I could make improved headlights, which is kind of cool. Okay, I understand now. So, to make the... To make... Okay, I could replace my crude panelling with proper steel panel. That feels like a... a this feels like the sensible thing to do. It's on the floor. It's behind you! <laughs> 
in all fairness, replacing the door, the crude doors and panels with proper steel doors and panels feels like a very sensible thing to do. And yes. I bet they're not all rusty. You might be able to see your paint job better. That uh, does make a lot of sense, doesn't yeah. it? So, okay, go over to here. Steel sheet, we can do... Sean, we right love now. you. Never change, professional gamer, y'all. There we go. Steel sheets. It's fine. It was... We got there in the end. We got there in the end. You're all mean. Um, steel sheet circuit board. I could literally weirdly do with fabric. I don't know how I need that to that, but okay, fine. Uh, right, so now, yes, research steel panel. Right, well, I'm glad to know about these. That's very bloody useful. So steel panel and steel door as well. Which will be very useful indeed. So, yeah. I feel like steel panel and steel door feels like the absolute logical. I'm glad chat pointed out these tabs to me. That's that's very cocky useful. Steel panel and steel door has got to be has got to be a sensible thing to kick off with. Uh, right. And steel bumper as well. Yeah. Do it all. It wasn't my fault. It got spat out onto the ground. I didn't see it because it was spat out onto the ground. Ah, it's the blueprint that I'm made of fabric. Ah. That's why you need fabric in order to research it. And then also the right level of energy, because mm. it's weird and stuff. Uh, then armor panel is, I need to scan a belching barnacle. Excellent. So, okay, so some of these are tied to scanning things. This is why you need to scan everything. So, nice. insulated door. If I wanted an insulated door, I needed to scan a spark tower, which I have done. So, that's fine. So, okay. Then we've got the tires. Uh, we can do... Yeah, we can get the tyres done. Nope. Scan, scan the thing. There we go. So we can get we can get better tyres on the car too. I feel like, you know, just some basic basic things is is not a bad idea. Off-road tyres. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I mean, that one feels expensive. But it also feels like a good idea. And then at side racks. Interesting. So additional piece of equipment on the side of the car. I mean, we may as well know how to do it. So, I think it. Or we're just putting it straight on. Or we're just plugging it straight on the car. Just straight on the. Straight on the. Normally, when you pick something up, it tells you what to do with it. What 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 do you want me to do with this? Just. Okay. It's a side rack. But but where does it? Where does it go? Ah, ah, there we go. Right, so there. Okay. You can be attached there. It's a little bit scruffy, to be honest. And now I need another one. Otherwise, it's going to be, you know... Yeah, It's going to be asymmetrical. Which is... Un but then again, if I'm about to start replacing all the panelling, maybe I should do that first. So, okay. Racks... Which is good. Side storage. And then... Ooh, a larger fuel can. I feel like we're fine in that regard. Battery jumper, lightning rod, plasma charger. Uh, a, a limb pulse emitter. Okay. Makes it difficult for entities to hold it on. Ah! That gets rid of the, the, the bunny bastards. Ooh, and better engines. I mean, a better engine feels like that's quite a, quite a sensible thing. Though I don't have enough... I need loads of energy to improve the engine. Okay. Well, this has all been very useful. In which case, screw it. I'm going for better tyres. Mm, that seems really reasonable. Tyres seem like a very sensible thing. Okay. I, I'm i very happy with this. I, I, I'm very happy I now know this exists. So, okay. The question is, yes, how do I... If I just remove that. Yeah, just take that off. Uh, we'll need to pop that down on the ground. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because I, I literally just painted this, and I think I've got finite paint. I don't know if I've got enough paint to paint it all again. Do you have, fin do you have finite stickers? Stickers are infinite. I think okay, the, so that's all the right. paint... Yeah, but the paint is where the star stuff comes in. It's it's counted as a decal. The paint the, is where what comes in? The, the, it, it, the, the, the planets are limited. I've only got so many. <gasps> But I think I might be able to recharge them using the matter regenerator. Like, I, I swear we just saw, like, I don't know whether the matter regenerator matter regenerator will be capable of doing that. Mm. Like, we've got a matter regenerator here. 
So, did I build that already? Was that? I think you did, yeah. Was that? Wait, where was the matter regenerator? That was the decaling station. Uh, isn't it the thing that? Mm, ah, this thing. Th this this th this looks important. Yes, matter regenerator. If I put a paint in there, does it fit? If you scrap them, you'll get the stickers back. Yay! Okay, that's good. Um, so yeah, pick you up. So you're gonna go in. Actually, before we before we do anything, let's just make sure we can actually make the new panels. Yeah. Because we might want to like take them off. So. Steel door, yeah, I need steel sheet, scrap, glass. I've got loads of all of the above. Yeah, but it's a steel panel that you need to replace what you took off. Yeah, let's just check. Okay, how? what is the car made up of? So that's that's a panel. This is a door. So it's five doors, four panels, and that's already a steel panel, actually. I think I must yeah. have got that from somewhere. So it's, yeah, therefore it's five doors, four panels, because I've already got this panel. Yeah, it's five doors, five panels, but this one already is done. Yeah. And then, yeah, the crude bump, which I think I could also theoretically uh, theoretically do. So, right, I need uh, four, four and five. Yeah, so, four panels and five doors. Now, I think, going over to this, I can make a... I could also make a steel sheet using scrap metal, but I'm going to run out of scrap metal at some point pretty soonish. So, and to make the off-road tyre, I'd need quite a lot of rubber, actually. So, that makes sense. Yeah. So, okay. Let's let's just reinforce the car for yeah. a little bit here. So, steel doors. Let's start with the steel panels. Because, yeah, we've already... Steel sheet. I need... We said we needed four of them. And I've yeah. only got enough steel sheets to make... Right now, three. But if I make a... Hang on. To make a steel sheet, I need scrap. So that should now be enough to replace all the panels yeah that's now enough to replace all the panels so one two three four now some of them are over here which is fine so now we can attach you to here and honestly this 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 one is the most important to me because this is i feel like the, the rust really shows through on these so we'll just take you off too and we'll just pop you down there and we'll pick up the next one. And yeah, it says I got the I got the ah. paint back by and replacing these. And apparently one of your door is also already steel. So... Crude, crude. Crude, crude. Crude. Nope. The, oh. the, 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 this, this, this is steel. That oh, panel is steel. But all, all that, the doors but... are definitely crude. Someone has made a mistake, unfortunately. Eh, that's fine, that's uh, fine. Just right. thought we'd double check. Take you off. Toss you over there. And right. So if we yeah, if I scrap all of these, I'll get the material back. Take you off too. Put you over there with the others. And now we can just plug all of these on. Which is very exciting. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Dan Kinnia, who uh, has been a member for 33 months. Uh, and to Bitter Magic, who gave us £10. And so I'm looking forward to catching the VOD later. Pacific Drive is a nice mix of exploring, uh, building, and being terrified in the dark. Like that one time I tried to build a helicopter in the haunted woods. Nice. Yes, I can see how that would be terrifying. That does sound awesome, though. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh... Nice. Shout out also to Anna, who's been a member for 32 months, and says, uh, John and Claire, a little while ago on an impromptu board game night, I gave Galaxy Trucker a chance because of you two, and I want to say thank you. Oh, Galaxy Trucker is I love excellent. Galaxy Trucker, Galaxy Galaxy Trucker, Trucker is, is so much fun. You prefer, your, your preferred, though, is Seven Wonders. Yes, but that's because... Galaxy Trucker is a game that comes in two, like, two sections, two parts. And one of the parts is assembling a spaceship out of, like, little tiles. Yeah, which is amazing. Under time pressure. It's really fun, but I just, like, it hurts me whenever I have to do a thing that doesn't look good because I don't have the right amount of time to, you know. Yeah. Like, I just want to construct it perfectly. Okay, now the problem we've got here is... The paint didn't get spat out, so does it just regenerate over here? Does that look like it's regenerated? It doesn't look like that's regenerated to me. Yeah. Uh, which worries me a little bit, but, I mean, I'm hoping we're going to have enough to 
do... Uh, I mean, let's keep it symmetrical for the time being. Okay, we can do the panels, but I'm not sure we're going to have to be able to do the doors. But then again, we don't have... Yeah. We don't have the stuff yet. Uh... No, I mean, this is going to be the end of it. So I'm not sure where we get more. Well, I think people... Ooh. Okay. I think it's just infinite. I think once you've got it, maybe it just keeps showing up forever. But I don't think you need to to add any more right no, now. No, I don't add any more right now. But right, good. Luckily, Can it would appear to just be... Can you put the paint underneath it? What? Well, your steel panels aren't blue right now. That's true. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I think they're, they're very close to blue. Yes, but as we know, I am the person in this relationship who is in charge of colours. I love that you spray, spray paint over those. There we go. Wall. There we go. Yep, there we go. Now it's blue as well. Lovely, lovely blue. That one's matching paint somehow. I'm not sure how it's there. We You said it was matching paint. Then you changed your mind and said it wasn't. There we go. All done, Claire. So, Thank you. You know, what? once we've replaced all these with steel, that's going to be much, much nicer, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's going to be hugely nicer. Uh, so, okay, I'm glad Ooh. we've got the detailing done. But we've also picked up a giant pile of extra scrap metal. Um, so, if I wanted steel doors... Also, did I get steel... Bu I could do steel bumpers. Actually, that's, that's two sheets a go for the steel bumpers. Ouch. And the summer but tire... But don't you need only one bumper? Or is there a rear and a front? There's a rear and a front. Oh, yeah, bumper okay. on its side. Now, the summer tires I could do, because I've got two spare tires and two summer tires around. So I only need two summer tires. And gears are cheap. So one, two, wait, was it one each? Or, yep, so summer tire. And then, oh, rubber. Oh, never mind. I had nowhere near enough rubber. Uh, right. Just drop you there for a second. Uh, pull you out, buddy. But then I might be able to, I might be able to make some rubber out of this one by recycling this old tire. So you go there. You'll probably spit out some rubber. You go in here and just get fixed up there. So I've now got three out of four summer tires. What do they do? They're just better, I assume. Oh, okay. But yeah, I need spare tire. And unfortunately, that is rubber, 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 rubber. Unless the broken down car outside, by any chance, has got a... I mean, that's a summer tire, but with a flat... But I can't take it off, I don't think. But if I break it, then that might generate some rubber, rubber, rubber. And a gear, which was, uh, gear's quite generous, actually. Um, so I think that gives me enough to make a uh, summer tire. Yep, there we go. Summer tire. So now, just pop that down there. Uh, pull you off. Shove you in here. Okay, now I'm getting into now I'm getting into the flipping uh, the yeah, flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're getting into the flow. Uh, grab you. So we now have a ah. full set of steel panels and a full set of summer tires. Summer tires are apparently also what is just called a road tire in a lot of places. They're just normal tires. Okay, as opposed to spare tires, I assume are just a bit worse for some yeah, reason. Yeah, and somebody uh, and uh, I'm assuming that means that is just as opposed to a winter tire. Yes. I mean, the next is off-road tire officially. So mm. we've now got all the steel panels and we've got we do need the steel bumpers at some point, but those are two steel sheets to go. Steel doors are only two ago. Only one ago. Sorry, yes, one ago. And I've got and also need two scrap metal. But to make a steel sheet yeah, you need a lot of scrap. I need some scrap. But what I do have is, well, one, I've got a friendly dumpster who has not kind of spat up anything for me today. So he's just going to be, eat my dust sticker. That's, that's lovely. Can I have some, like, metal? Okay, chemicals, chemicals. Tiny bit of scrap. I was, I was just really wanting scrap, to be honest. Okay, now he's now he's being all fussy at me. I can break down this car for just a bunch of scrap. Yeah, uh, makes sense. So I can just uh, do that. Does so, it have tires on the other side at all? Can I break that open with? No, I just need to scrap that. Uh, you can't take them off though. You can only break them. I think I need I need technology to actually take something off. 
And if you get really lucky, sometimes you actually get straight you actually straight up get steel panels off broken down steel things. Like you might just get a steel panel. Uh, but right now we're just getting scrap metal. But I think if I just break this thing down yeah, right now... Yeah, but I think now, if you just break those tires right now, you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, rubber as well. I don't need rubber anymore. I've already got the tires. Well, I know, but you're going to need it at some point. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I will at some point, but... Uh, yes, I may as well. I, I, I'll, I'll just break all of this down. It, it gives me gears, which is actually more generous, actually. Because that just saves me a lot of a lot of trouble. All right, I'm just going to take this and tear this car down. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, shout out to Wobble who gave us five pounds, and uh, I think they're referencing. Free steel sheet. Uh, they're referencing nice. Uh, they're referencing the secret thing that we uh, have not told people about yet. Yeah. Uh, was John invited to the Fallout series event to top up his exclusive Bethesda women? Uh, also, when uh, when are we getting pics of many a true gorilla? <laughs> Man, it must be nice to be, you know, a Fallout creator in America where you get cooking invited to everything. <laughs> we don't get we don't get shit all over in the UK. We didn't we didn't get anything, lol. Mm. Uh no, we didn't we didn't get invited Rip to everything. Rip is it cheap thing. to make just crunch everything, John. Huh? Uh Victor in chat says the the um, the ripper thingy with the saw blade, that's yeah. cheap to make, you should just uh, Yeah, that's break that's what everything. I'm doing. That that is what I'm doing, yeah. don't worry. And also, they they seem to they seem to uh, they they've got a good amount of health on them. You can you can tear mm. down a lot of shit with them, and they're absolutely fine. And sometimes, yeah, if you get lucky, you actually get a full straight up steel sheet out of steel stuff, which nice. means is yeah, which saves a lot of time. I got one on this occasion. Uh, I think that cast now is as good as it can be. And yeah, we literally got proper full steel sheet here. So okay, put all that together. And yeah, we need five doors because the rear door is a door too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've yeah, got all yeah. the glass is not a problem. The steel would not be a problem. So I need four more steel sheets at this point. And the steel sheet would be so one, two, three, four. And I think you still have enough scrap. And with so that, doesn't want that much scrap, yeah. Yeah, I think we can. We can replace all. We can literally do a, possibly with the exception of the bumper. We can do an entire straight yeah, but, up everything. But if refresh. you replace, if you make five doors now and you replace all the doors, then you break the doors down. Yeah. The existing old one. Ted. Down. Oh, it's what? probably about time Ted wants yeah. his little outing. Do you want to take Ted for a little walk in the garden yes, so he can have a wee? Do you, do you want, want your a wee? Final wee? Do you want a little adventure in the garden, the last wee in a snuffle? Or do you just want to flop, young man? Your choice, Ted. So all right, put all that together. We can now do the steel doors. So one, two. Three, four, five. There we go. We've got just enough right here. I know these look like they're like, you know, not the right doors, etc., etc. Like this should blatantly be a different door, but it's not. It's it's the same door. It's 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 fine. So it's it's weird that it is, but it that's how it works. It's it ju just it just is. So we're just gonna take care of that. And yeah, even though this is blatantly a side door and shouldn't go here. Did you just as anyway. Just anyway. Just 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 as anyway. So it's fine. Hi Ted. Good. Bit of a fuss. Right. Have all of that, and yeah. Now we can just change all them over. So okay. Do We're just going to. Do you know how much the chat loves you, baby dog? Do you know? Oh, I'm telling him, chat. <laughs> So, okay, we can literally, yeah, basically do a refresh for the entire car, which is very exciting. We're going entirely over to, which is probably useful mechanically, but I'm mainly into it because it means the car's going to be less ugly. Like, it's going to have less rust on it. It's actually going to, like, you know, be, be nice looking, with the exception of the bumper, which I think we probably won't be able to pull off just yet. Let's put all of that in there. And then I can use the Hoover McJibble. Activate the Hoover. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, yeah, that just sucks all of that in. And it's in there now. I love that. Such a convenient little feature. That all of that just kind of goes into there and... Wait, what? Oh, it's in there. Sorry. I I, I didn't realize it. Oh, I, you had me confused. I thought it was supposed to appear in there for a second, but it was not. So everything's fine. Uh, can I just take all? Can, can I transfer all right there? 
steel. Oh, it took all the steel doors too. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't mean for it to take all the steel doors. That's that's fine. Everything's fine. I, di I didn't think it was going to suck up the steel doors, but it did suck up. I'm glad. I'm glad I knew how to check for them. But that would that would have panicked me in just a second, actually, because I didn't realise the steel doors were about to be uh, right, taken too. Dear oh flippin' dear. So right, you. But it, it, we sucked up all the materials, which is which is fine. All right, which is which is a okay. Just gonna stick the steel doors on. Oh, this is this is nice. This like this is technically I'm I'm sure the car's gonna perform better and like die less and and do better in radiation or whatever. But mainly I'm just in it for the aesthetics. I'm I'm saying like, yes, yes. This this makes me happy. This makes me happy in my little soul. Right, so that's all the doors attached. So now, we just mosey on over. Help myself to, yes, the blue paint. So we just need to paint you. And you say matching paint, but it's not. So there better be more blue paint here now. Otherwise, this is going to be... Uh-oh. What happened to the infinite respawning paint? Game? You, you promised me... Uh-oh. Is it only decals? Is, does, is paint not infinite? Oh, that could be a problem. Um, oh, Claire's going to be furious when she gets back. That, that some of the doors are now going to be a different colour. Well, at least... Th maybe she won't notice... Because there's... Oh, the blue paint in the hoover. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's very good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Right. The next blue paint got... There it is! Whew! <laughs> well, that's... That's that's bloody useful. Right, good. Good, good, good. So, right. You. Blue. You. Blue. You. Blue. You. Blow. Oh, this is. Look at this! It's like a proper car now. Admittedly, there's there's the problems with the with the light with the headlights. I'll admit. I'll, I'll admit that's not it's not it's not great. Speaking of which, hang on. Did I already burn all my things? Could I just do? No, I'm just shy of enough energy to actually do headlights. Uh, which is a shame. But yeah, I don't mind the relightable flare. Though, admittedly, just the <gasps> flashlights. Holy shit. Okay, well, screw everything. Screw everything. I want a flashlight. Okay, I just want a flashlight. Just just take me in the direction of flashlights. Okay, light. Flare gun is... Oh, I need unstable energy to have a crude flashlight. It's not great, but it'll do. Right, does that mean all flares are now relightable? Or does that mean I need to, like, craft a relight? There it is, relightable flare. So copper wire, nine volt battery, scrap, etc., etc. Well, I'm having, I'm having them. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not, not having them. I'm having two of them, in fact. Yes, there we go. So, oh, it's literally a tool. Okay, right. So we're going to put one of you in the, in, in the locker, together with all the rest. Of it. We're getting a little bit. Locker's getting a bit on the full side. I'll admit. Locker's, locker's looking. Little bit, little bit, little bit full. Just the littlest bit full here, in a way. Uh, but that's that's all absolutely fine. So okay, this now wants to be. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can we can fix this. You get transferred. You get transferred. You're not going to be staying. You can you you stay in the back anyway, right? You go there. That's now, okay, that's now set. So, right, I can turn that on and presumably turn it off again. Hang on, check that. Right. It's it's functionally a flashlight. It's kind of a flashlight. The spare can just go in the cupboard. We can, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that later, I'm sure. So, just transfer. You say that doesn't fit. I, I think I can make that fit. I think I can, I can... I, I, I think we could make that fit. I think that will be made to fit. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure that's that. that was, was that that hard game? Was that really that hard? Right. Transfer. Thank you. Right. So I've got a new toy. 
which is good. I mean, I don't really need these as much, to be honest, but I kind of like them. Kind of like them. So they can, they can stay for now. This is still fine. I've still got... Um, you could just go back in the car, because honestly, you fill up a lot of space. You can come with me. Admittedly, we're gonna need we're gonna need a cocking bigger backpack at some point. The backpack's gonna be a problem. Hang on, how 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 much for a large backpack? I don't know what swamp coral is. So that's that's a concern. That's a concern. Though I could ooh powered boots, but I need a rubber, right, padded parker, stiff shirt, etc. etc. Carbon fiber glass. Oh well, lardy cocky da. Right, acid raincoat, etc. etc. Okay, so we're going to be needing a few other bits and pieces. Gotcha, especially swamp coral. That the, the concept of swamp coral concerns me. Yes, Cla your son. Yeah, oh, did he just wolf? No, he ran out the door without waiting for a release command. Well, he doesn't obey you sometimes. We know this. Okay, well, number one, he's never done that. Number two, that's not a fucking excuse. Wow. Okay, also, I've got a flat. I do have a flat tire here. A, summer right. a flat summer tire. Well, I've told him that I'm not very happy, so I'm going to wait like five minutes before Eclat. giving him a cuddle. Check out the whole way round. It's beautiful. Steel car with the decals reassigned. Nice. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Sorry, how does this thing work? Do I, like... I guess I have to. I, that's that's more. It's a rack, not the actual thing. Yeah, so, I think you can attach stuff to the rack. Yeah, I can attach rack, other right? stuff to it. Uh, in which case, yes. Can I? Okay, I no longer have the energy to uh, to create another side rack, unfortunately. Anyway, shout out to Subruka who gave us fifty Canadian dollars. Ooh, best dollars. Uh, and says, "I'm so glad I could catch a stream. Happy Pi Day from Canada." Pi Day indeed. Happy mm. Pi Day. Yes, indeed. And yes, steel bumper. Uh, please scan the tire. What tire? Uh, the tire that you were say saying was a flat, just in case what's wrong with it is not a flat, it's something else. Oh, it's loose. It needs a mechanics kit. Yeah, I what? think the signal for a flat was uh, yellow, not red. Which is good, because mechanic kits are way easier to, to make, actually. That's that's super easy to make. Thank you. Right. And, yeah, fix. There we go. And I've... Yeah, I've put the, the, don't worry, the decals are on the roof. Don't worry, people. The decals are on the roof, too. The car is fabulous. Uh, so, okay. I don't see a way to, yeah, build more side thing, more side things here. I think I just need to craft them in the thing. And we also established, hang on, did I check I'm out of energy for the headlight? Yes, I need more energy out in the zone. So maybe just go on adventures and you'll harvest energy uh, in the zone. So that's fine. That's all a-okay. I've got myself like a sort of flashlight. I've got this now, Claire. Check this mm. out. Oh, nice. It's going to be single use only, but at least it's it's a better sort. It's an actual source of light I can use, which I'm pretty excited to buy. So the car <laughs> like is now you, way better protected. When we remember to recharge the flashlight for take, taking Ted outside in the evening. <laughs> dear, oh dear. And yes, the matter regenerator. Anything I put in here just heals itself, which is interesting. Whether that includes things that need to be recharged or not, I don't know. But okay. We also verified, hang on, I might be able to do the bumpers, or at least maybe one bumper. Like, because the bumpers are on different ends of the cars, it doesn't bother me so much if they're entirely matched. So, we've got plenty of rubber for the bumper. It's literally, I just need uh, two steel sheets. And I can just afford two steel sheets. Wow. We can actually do a full set of steel. Everything's going to be steel. So, bumper. Nice. And... Oh, no, it's two steel sheets per. Never mind, we can do one bumper. Uh, yeah, and shout out to uh, Omega, who gave us 10 polish slotty, and says all we're missing now is a death ray on top. Pretty much. Uh, Rosie's been a member for 31 months. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Adam, 
who uh, gave us five Canadian dollars. Best dollars. And says, happy Thursday. I'm just stopping by to give King Ted my ad block tax. Have fun. Be nice to Claire and please pet Ted for me. I'm not sure Ted gets pets for five well, minutes. T- Ted got pets before we went out and he uh, was not on his best behavior. Ted was, yes. Ted was a bit of a naughty dog, apparently. Oh, dear, Ted. Letting the side down. Right, well, now I've got that, I don't need the flag gun anymore, so I'm willing to transfer that over. Actually, I could just keep it in the car, I suppose. Actually, also, now I know I can just make tools so easily. You can just be broken down. Like, we do not need any of you. And you need to be put in the detailing station anyway to save space. So, okay, you go in the the detailing station. Now that I've got that, does that now show up as a, just as an option straight away? Was it a sticker? Was that was that a sticker after the the various price stickers? I don't see it. Hang on. Or do I have to put that? Yes, I'm gonna have to put that in. So you have to be like inserted. So transfer. Right now it's going to be available. Whatever that was. Okay. It was eat my dust. Eat my dust, which was given to me by my friendly neighbourhood thingy. Me. Exactly. And you just get broken down. I mean, honestly, that thing was almost broken. So it delivering multiple yeah. scrap metal is is honestly not bad. Like I'm I'm so okay with that. So yeah, put all that together. A bit of spare food in case of emergencies. Do you think he knows he's done something wrong? Because he's not come back through to sit with us. I think he's sat on the opposite, uh, on the other side of the panel. I think he might. I think he might know he's done a bad oh, no, and I feel think a bit knows, sad because, about it. No, 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 no. We. He went straight in. I said dead kind of horrified yeah and then he did a wee and i pointed him straight back in he hasn't had a proper check of the garden and he knew what i was telling him he's gonna go back after the stream anyway we do that on stream days why do you think that the rear tire isn't lit up but the other tires are because it's not because it's crude and the other are summer because these are all summer tires now this tire is also is it maybe because you think it's, it's not quite full condition, but the others are? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's... Okay, I'm just going to check that because I'd, I'd like to know that. So just take that. Uh, just pop that in my hands, please. If I just slap that on there, do you have to be... Are you only lit up if you're perfect condition or, like, very close to perfect? So, okay, that's that's pretty bloody close to perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's how that works. Oh, and by the way... um. Yeah. You do have a quirk that I don't think you have noticed. I, I know it's there, but I don't know how to... F- I, 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 I assume it's something to do with the fact the bonnet opens, but I don't know what the connection is. No, I mean, how many quirks does it say you have? Does it just say one? I don't think it tells you. I think you just know there is at least one quirk. Because, yeah, there is one quirk that me and Chad have noticed uh, in the earlier run. Is, is it the bonnet opening? It's not the bonnet. No, tell me, what have you figured out? If you figured it out, I'm fine with it. Uh, well, it's just uh, when you had your windshield wipers on, Yeah. the uh, fuel gauge was also furiously wipering. Like that. Interesting. Okay. How do I even report that? So, in the event that... Hang on. Uh, wipers... I mean, stays on. I stays think. on, then not fuel, but fuel gauge. Um, every car door, not the fuel. It's not the. It's not the fuel. It's the fuel gauge. That's the thing. Um, uh, how do I report that? Is it maybe in like a? Is it maybe in dashboard? Yeah, fair. Dashboard flickers or I mean the only one is fuel gorge fails. So I'll give it a guess, see if it Correct diagnosis. Yeah. Okay. So right, that's true. So select that. I need an electrician's kit to fix that. Okay. So that's I should be yeah, hopefully I can make one of them. I mean it was very cute, but yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, buh, 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 buh. wait, electrician's kit. I'm not sure I know how to make one of them. I hang about. All right, he has come behind. Hello, Ted. He has come. Oh, I'm going to give him a cuddle. Survival. Yes, that seems fair right, at this man. point. 
Uh, hang on. Is that? Oh, hang on. Is that? Is that like an? That's is that in a garage? A garage thing. How do I make a? How do I make one of them? Oh, uh, not wheels. It's not storage. It's not fuel. It's not battery. It is. It's kind of a utility. Um, uh, no, not utility in that sense. That's engine, which I don't need to, which I'm not so worried about. I do not know how to fix that, because I don't know how to make an electronic kit. Oh, hang on, wait, did I just sit right at the end there? Expanded locker, wait, did I literally just sit, and now I can't remember what cocky tab I was on at the same time? I, I don't know. Well, we know about it. Um, bare minimum, which is good. We, we, we know about it. And I think something... The car's just, the car's just turned on and speaking to me. Something I think it made this crack open. Unless it was something to do with the, the car, the, the engine. And also, you know, I'm making some more repair putty. Because, yeah. Two more... Hello, Ted. Yeah, there you go. You are very loved, even though you were a little naughty. Ted, did you have your Did you have your hand down next to him when the door opened? Because I often have a hand next to him and then I point him when I give him the voice uh, command. No, but like I take him out in the evening. You know, you don't I've normally done it do that. A few times, plenty of times. You wouldn't normally yeah. do that. Fair enough. Well, maybe now I fix that. That won't happen anymore, if we're lucky. So you just go over there. We've got we've got plenty of repair putty. We can fix up the battery. We've got a spare U jibbler. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take you, and rather than bringing you with me, I'm going to take you, and I'm going to put you into here. So you're going to be transferred. You can't repair that. Okay. So that is not an acceptable recharger. Fine. So it can't be everything. You you can't just you can't fix up everything. That's just not allowed. So in which case you can just go uh, into the matter destructionator. Okay. Just don't give me anything on this occasion. Whatever. Uh, right. The car is in as good a shape as it's going to be. I've got plenty of space in my backpack. I've got new toys. I've got new tools. Uh, I'm in good shape. The car's in good shape. Let's go for one more adventure. So, okay. The game is basically just saying, hey, just like, go and do a thing. Just literally explore the zone in the kind of the, the vaguest way possible. So, we've already been to G8 and we've already been to E5 over here. So, as a result of that, actually, you know what? We've never been to this biome because this is this is a distinct biome. This is, yeah, this isn't, um, yeah, that is damp forest. That's blistering woods. Oh, I'm not sure I want to go to the blistering woods, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But, also we're heading towards, yes, what the game is marked as dark. Yay! Which which feels deeply concerning. But you know what? I feel like going to a different biome and seeing what happens as a result. So, the car's in pretty good shape. This has got, yeah, loads of fuel there. Loads of houses, loads of gear. Uh, conditions are unknown. The slightly more weird shit, and but other than that, very, very similar indeed. Yes, we're going to go here. There we go. Oh, it's going to be night, isn't it? And I think we can go there directly, because I've, I've, I've already been to this region. So I think that means I can go here straight away, but it is going to be night. Which I do not appreciate. But my car glows in the dark now. So, you know, it's it's going to be fine. It's like one of those, you know, uh, tropical toads that have the bright colours to tell uh, predators that they are not tasty, they are poison. Admittedly, my, my, my gear thing used to actually say drive or park on it, so I could always remember which way round it was, but now it doesn't anymore. So that's unfortunate. But my car is in excellent condition. And this is, that's so adorable. I didn't notice that, but that's so cute. Yeah, right. uh, the chat is very happy we're keeping it because it's I so cute. I literally can't fix it. I'm not sure I know how to do an, an electronics thing yet. So, okay. Do I have to drive it through? Ah, quirks can actually be beneficial if you're lucky, says Trintin. Doesn't surprise me. So, do I actually have to go through here or can I skip straight through? No, I do have to visit here. I can't go straight to that. But I've already been here. And this that area is literally perpetual stability. So, like, it's it's super safe. 
We're just going to pretty much drive straight through. We're just kind of going straight from point A to point B. And that's just, it may well be an environment I've actually seen before. I've got little, my car's full of so much stuff now. It's great. Uh, oh yeah, this is a very small, simple. So literally just go here, take a left and cut through that. We do not need to gather that. Though on the way past, we can grab this and then literally just drive out. So literally just drive down the road, do a little bit of looting. If we happen to pass by a chance to top up fuel when we get down the line, great. But it should not be too difficult. And honestly, for the time being, it's evening, but it's not too late yet. And I think I'm not going to turn my my lights on unless I absolutely have to because I don't want to eat the battery too fast. Because I can top up like a lot of things like fuel, but tossing up, topping up the battery on route is a little bit on the difficult side. Claire, well, we're just going for a lovely drive through the forest here. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Funky Fish, who gave us a 100 Swedish kroner. Excellent kroner. Uh, and says, uh, I am from the past, watching the VOD. I hope for a good ending. I mean, nothing possibly I can go wrong. <laughs> Dear oh flipping dear. Right. We've got ourselves just a handful of buildings. and Oh. Are you kidding me right now? Hello, Tobias. You saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. Saw what? What do you mean, what? Hallucinations. Like the ones from 1961. It happened again. Just a quick blip. Like blinking your... Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right. Because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. That's impossible. It's been... 40 years. Alright, so I'm guessing that's where they're going to be sending me at some point into, well, finding a way to get deeper into the zone. I kind of saw that, yeah, the map was like concentric rings, uh, so that's where they're going to be wanting me to go. Gotcha. But anyway, for the time being, yeah, we just got some nice simple stuff to kick us off here. Televisions to be broken down, etc., etc., etc. Electronics in particular are very good when scrapped. All. And this oh. hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform, and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. Oh, this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. I think it's something to do with the reversing. I, I swear, when I reverse... Some bad stuff happens as a result. Like the 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 thing goes bananas. The uh, occasionally the uh, yeah uh, when I reverse the the bonnet flips up. I think it's something to do with reversing. I just can't figure out precisely what. So okay, just scan the two buildings and yeah, we appear to be moving into a fog, unfortunately, which is not 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 great, but. Yeah, this is oh oh things are wibbling. Are things wibbling because of because of weird shit or just because of generic uh, blobs, video games, etc. It's hard to tell. Right. Also, genuinely, this makes my car way easier to locate. Like you can't <laughs> miss my car. It's right there. I kind of love that my car is now just yep. That's my car. 
You're not going to miss that. You don't need the car compass anymore. It's like, yep, that's that's definitely my car. 100%. Not not a problem. Crack you open. Check all the... Oh, all things are... Lights. Actually, I'm not sure lights are weird. I think lights are only weird in here because there's the dancing lights outside. Which is fine. Refrigerator is health. It's food. It's, is that just actually another room? Is that another way outside? That was just another way outside. Bit of a waste of the McJibble. But honestly, it doesn't really make much difference at the end of it. And fabric, which you definitely do not need. There is no shortage of fabric in the game, but whatever. Right. Keep on keeping on. We're just passing through this area, all right? We've do it. That's probably all we need to do. Uh, there was also... I left the lights on in the car, didn't I? Sorry, shouldn't have done that. I, I always just assume... Oh, those will turn off when I do the thing, but they don't. Right. All we need to do is literally, yeah, just follow the road... And then take a... Oh, there's a bit of a storm coming through. But it looks like if I go south, we might miss it if we're lucky. Uh, right. Everything's fine. There we go. No. There we go. And I will need a little bit of light here. Right, literally just follow the road and try to avoid the creepy mannequins, etc, etc. Clap! Yeah, shout out to the only Lynx in the village who gave us £15. Pounds. And says the background radio got me hooked on your video like an earworm. 50 hours later and I've uh, <laughs> I felt the whole of this game. Uh, I felt the hole that this game left now that it is over. Uh, 11 out of 10 top 5 game of the year. I think this will be on my game to the year list. I just really appreciate that yes the idea that you know the game says hey the car's evil but it's going to get inside your brain so you won't be able to walk away from it and like. There's no option to walk away from the game. Like, the only way to interact with the zone is through the car. Which is just the most the perfect... Like, yeah, you know what? That's true. This car has got in my head. Like, this, this it's, it's, it makes perfect sense. It's marvellous. Uh, yes, and Lynx also says... Uh, they also suggest the Limpulse Bumper, which uh, is a bunny bouncer and is apparently very fun. Nice. I think we're out uh, of material and everything I could use so far. Yeah, but, also... Uh, uh, sorry, um... Also, uh, they gave us five quid for the tossing a flare into a large group of mannequins fund for um, science, of course. Okay, next time I see some mannequins. A leading I... hint to something I found really funny. Uh, next time we see some mannequins, yeah. this will happen. Fair enough. Uh, oh. Okay, so far everything's pretty chill, though I'm not delighted by the level of... Oh, oh, something weird just happened over to the right, but I'm sure it's all fine. Yeah, there's just, just some, just some, just some, just some. This will be where we turn right. Yeah. Yeah, back onto the main. Right. Uh. No. I think it's when I'm, if it's I when hold reverse, reverse it's when I hold reverse. Yeah. I think, I think it's when I hold reverse. But we've been watching the, uh, we've been watching the new, uh, the new live action avatar. Yeah. Uh, so that's very earth bendy right there. Everything's Fine. There's a little bit of radiation around here. Uh, okay, we need to get through this radiation quick as you like, please. Quick as you like. We're taking a little bit of light damage, but yeah, the, 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 the car can take it. The car can take it. Right. This is the point. There's a lot of bloody rising up earth here, by the way. Right. Now, if we've got this right, stop. Yes, the slightly, the, the weird storm is passing overhead right now. So I think if I just basically wait here for a minute, yeah, if I'm, I'm just going to grab the energy so we, we won't need it next time. The car Well, that was rude. That was rude. That was very rude, weird shit. Just, just go away. Go away, weird random shit, okay? There's also... Right, have this door open, ready to go. Hello. I don't know what that is, and I don't trust it, and I don't want to interact with it. Let's... Oh! It's a saw blade in the ground. Great. Love it. Cock and love it. Right, just get this thing in the car before anyone starts attacking me. Like the weird saw blades in the ground, say. In it goes. Okay, that's just... Yeah, that's caused an increase in weirdness. Because now all these dancing lights are around and they were not here previously. Uh, is my car currently in them? No, my car isn't currently in them. Good, you're just outside it. Literally, all we need to do... Is just, yeah, literally just drive around the road. That's it. We are now fine. And we've also got ourselves a little bit of leftover spare energy going forward. Fine. We should just be able to drive out of here now. Assuming now the weird storm's passed over. Less weird. You're just going to... Okay. 
Hello. My car just went weird. Now the radio's on, and we're gonna and, and it's a cooking show. Well, that's it. it we, okay. I I sometimes my car I think tries to talk to me through the radio, and it's saying something about eggs. Possibly it wants me to impregnate it. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's 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 hard to say. It's 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 very hard. It's it's hard to be certain. But the cars attempt to communicate with me on the topic of eggs. Also, and the now, chat is very upset that you consistently do not scan things. I do forget to scan things. That's yeah. certainly true. Right. <laughs> something's something's going on. And now we're going to make it to... Yeah, so now we're going to our actual destination, which is... this is Now, this is going to be a new bio. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still going to be forest, but it's going to be like... Bad forest. Blistering woods. The, the car knows you're a box of eggs and is warning you... Is threatening you about cooking you. Okay. Interesting. Oh, junction conditions, extreme conditions, overcharged electricity. And also, I don't see any way of... Escaping. Where are where are the where are the jumping out points? Maybe it tells you after you've gotten the. Normally, I think. I well, I know they... normally, but I'm telling you. The okay, maybe now. fair enough. Well, if we literally just go down the road and take a left here, there's two right next to each other. That's going to be what? Yeah. It's going to be plenty. I'm sure it'll be fine. If we just go down the road here, then this should probably be a okay. So, this is like this. Creepy, creepy ass lights flickering red behind you as you go. All you need to do is just move. This looks like a fairly small map, to be honest. Blistering woods. But what is that? Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get out and I'm going to scan that. I'm going to scan it. In order that I learn what things are and what they do. Spike puddle. I'm just going to guess we don't want to not drive on that ship. Just just don't drive on the spike puddle. Just in general, I feel like that would be bad. So, all right. On we go. Skirt around the spike puddle. Are we almost? Yeah, we're almost. Actually, we're kind of where rather than we're kind of following the main road rather than following the junction. And the game did say overcharged electricity, which feels... What the shit is all of this? Hang on. Okay, a lot of shit is going on in the blistering woods right now. There's that's just radiation. Now the game did say, okay, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing mannequins. Light. Okay. Whoop. Well, I think that just solved the problem. By by sheer coincidence. That's just generic radiation. You can't scan that. Right. So the mannequins are drawn to that light and kind of went up to it. And they were causing the electricity. So, right, by sheer coincidence, we just, like, you know, fix the problem. So that's good. Um, do you know how we gather energy? Yeah, you just literally run up to it, grab it, then stick it in the thingy right here. Ah. In the passenger seat, like we just did a second ago. Same yeah. process that we just did. Um, and you see how, like, some of them are bigger and smaller than others. Is that just an amount of energy? I assume it's an amount of energy, yeah. yeah. But as there's two next to each other, I can mm. just grab the big one. If it's not enough, we can grab the little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're literally just going to go to that point over there. There's, by the looks of it, a small amount of, small amount of radiation up ahead. But it's honestly not that bad. So we're just going to, yeah, just skim through that super quick until we reach the custom destination point I have set. Yep, straight through that. Lights on so I can cocking see. Hopefully we'll be A-OK. -okay. Battery-wise, a little bit of floating rock, and that's not too bad. I can't remember the name of those, but I definitely, I think I've scanned them before. Just bear in mind, obviously, I may have scanned some stuff that, you know, I just didn't include the scanning in the video, potentially. Like, you know, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not happened. Uh, right. I see more electricity McJibbly jibbles up ahead. Oh, yeah, and of course, if do, you don't you need those to make upgrades as well? What? The energy bowls. 
I don't know whether it's time you spend in the zone, time you spend in the radiation, or the energy balls that convert into the energy you can use. Um, I, I, I genuinely don't know. Fair enough, fair enough. But it should be somewhere down around here. There we go, I see one. So literally just mosey on down here. So yeah, when I act, when I grab this, shit's going to get weird. Now it looks to me like, yes, possibly overcharged electricity means... I think that means, yeah, that you guys are all going to... Yeah, what it means, I think, is mannequins are electrically linked together. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. This should be the large one, and we're just going to book it back to the car. Okay, book it back to the car, book it back to the car, book it back to the car. A little bit of radiation is kicking off by the looks of it, but I think we might just be able to straight up outrun it. We're taking a tiny bit of rat. We took a tiny bit of rad damage. Uh, yeah, we're taking a little, little, little bit of rad damage here. A little bit of rad damage. Oh, no, I think that's actually from just from the ball, because it's like weird magic shit. Shove it in there. Look at the meter. And that's enough. So if we want to, we can now leave. Uh, it's okay. While you're holding the ball, it itself is worth a lot of stuff. So hang on. Have a little look-see at you. So now we can... Yeah, energy comes from the energy balls. Energy comes from the energy balls, yeah. Okay, so if I go and get the other one, then that's more energy I can spend on upgrades. Yeah, but if you are going that way anyway for the exit, you know... Well, you I, ha get a I have a bigger ball. No, you have to be outside of the radius. You can't activate it right next to it because the whole point is when you activate it, there's a oh, there's a yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a mad cat last second mean. drive. So you've got to be outside that circle. Oh, so you can't even pick it up to take it home. I don't think so. Oh, fair you, enough. I, well, actually, in theory, I suppose if you were to like drop it in the because people are saying you should get more anchors for the garage. I may as well just get this one that's right here, as mm. that's literally right next to me though. Also, something appears to be flashing green. There's... Oi! Oi! No! Bad happy hair! I thought you just wanted to hang out because your car's so fabulous. Right, there was just a happy hair here. Well, you're getting broken down because I don't know what you are precisely. Down you go, buddy. Oh, hang on! Did I just see... Did I just see marsh eggs written on screen for a second? Am I going cocking insane? Well, I don't see them, but I could have sworn I did. And also, I see more of these guys up ahead. So, okay. By sheer coincidence, what I assume was supposed to be like, oh, you know... Oh, apparently the happy hair is helpful. Oh. It's not a bad bunny. It heals your car. Well, that's that's a shame. Right, you guys go and have a look Luxie at that. And... Okay, why didn't you want to interact with that, guys? Guys... Guys, guys, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Whoop! That worked last time. Okay, I'm gonna regret this, but give it a scam. Shocked tourist. Open. Bad time in the zone. What do I do? Now this chain reaction thing. Brutal deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whole lines of dummies, any one of them capable of setting off all the rest. Seven people have died. Uh, Okay. Well, if I can't just... You have to be closer. I was pretty close. I'm just going to whack it with a stick. Okay. Oh! Ow, 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 
to get, to get the flare closer to the bodies of the mannequin. I got it pretty damn close. It was like right there. I like pa I have to like l not pass by them, but land close by to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe throw the flare so it lands closer or passes closer to the dummy. Interesting, interesting. And there's also something weird going on down here. Hang on. Hey, buddy. What the shizzle is this? Right, so there's all sorts of different stuff going on here. And normally, give it a scan. An airstrip. Nice. Okay. Bags, drums of experimental gravity gel. Okay. Someone broke a leg. Right. Basically, don't drive over that. Gravity's cocking weird. Right, I saw, I know where I'm going. I'm looping in a big circle. Because there's this big tower here. I just want to explore, see if I can get up top and see what's going on. There might be some good electronics. And if I take a right and then go along this valley, that should bring me roughly towards the thing. Uh, but we're learning. We're learning here. And because we've gone into a new area with scary stuff going on, etc, etc. Hmm. How do we get to the top of this? Increasingly worried that what the game wants me to do is like use the gravity gel to like fling myself up into space, which I am not going to be doing. And oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Hi. Okay, happy hair. Scan happy hair. Scan happy hair. Hi, happy hair. Okay, apparently we, we now know do not murder the happy hair. The happy hair is apparently chill. We we like the happy hair for reasons. Uh, right. Ignore you. Go hands free. You're going to be chill with me if I don't do anything. Right, I'm not trying to get up to the top of you, but we're just leaving you alone for the time being. Yeah, that's fine. Me and the happy hair are just going to hang out. Now, if I'm going in this direction, yeah, if the car is over there, if I just get into a position here, I should be able to see that next weird thing somewhere around here. Uh, pick up the happy hair and put it on your car. I think the happy hair got bored. Yeah, fair enough. If he does... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, no trouble. No trouble at all. Can you go in my backpack? Can I just... Uh, no. Well, I don't think I can put him away. And in which case, I'm going to need to pick up the, 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 the dubious energy in a second. I think he's following me. And if he does follow me, he can keep following me. I kind of wish I'd put a marker down on the map for the second bit of energy, because I didn't. I just kind of thought I'd be able to navigate to it. So I may need to loop back on myself. Hello, Ted. I may need to loop back on myself to get... Oh, hang on! I see it! Oh, wait, is that exactly what I did, actually? Is that Did I do precisely the thing? I just said, hey, I wish I'd done that thing. Because is, is the marker, by any chance, right on top of the thing? And I just forgot, and I put the marker there. Because it might be. That's precisely what I already did. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to toss the happy hair into the electro mannequins. Let's, oh, oh, hello. Oh, that's just right. That, that was just grass. Blech. Well, that worked. And like, you know, the happy hair doesn't appear to be dead. I don't think anyway. You, you, you may be just following me. He's a bit damaged. He, he'll, he'll hopefully follow me. He'll hopefully follow. Oh, hello. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. Right, just equip you. Yep. Eat. 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 And eat. Right, now grab this and then start cocking running. Go, 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 because shit's about to get weird. Just basically whatever's about to happen. I'm taking radiation damage. Like, you know, shit's going to get weird. The car's a good 100 meters away, but that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, fortunately, I'm kind of healing. Uh, I was healing off with the canned food. So that's, that's fine. That's doing A-OK. -okay. There's my car, which I can see because it's glowing. Uh, maybe the happy hair is going to, like, follow me. It's, it's hard to say for certain. Right. Shove that in there. So that's more, that's more energy. It's a, it's a tiny bit more anyway. It, it, it wasn't much, but you know what? Literally the goal of the game saying is, hey, just go for a drive. I, I think I'm pretty happy to have a think about, yeah. Whether there's anything, hang on, what's that? that? Okay, that's a gateway, but it's too close. I can get the tiniest bit closer. I can go a little bit, little bit, little bit down the road. Clap. While we get ready for the final run.
Uh, yes, indeed, we have a lovely uh, piece of fan art from Amanda. Oh, we hope you've shared that with the chat. Glowy yes. stars, that's adorable. Right, stop uh, here. Yes, indeed, let's see. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, shout out to Sag, who has been a member for 45 months. And says, I've just joined. Uh, ha John, how are you doing after being sick? And can you give an update on the Ted and Kitten situation? I'm going to be honest, I'm still not quite 100%. I've been, I've been drinking a lot of Lemsip this last week as a bit of a crutch. I can use I can use Strepsils and Lemsip as a crutch to keep me going even if I'm not quite at 100%. So you won't be able to tell the difference. Uh, so that will work. That all works absolutely fine. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm not. I'm still not quite. I'm still not quite a hundred percent at the minute. I would say not quite. Not quite entirely there. But it's kind of uh, one of those things. The, the situation with Ted and kittens is that multiple times we've tested Ted with like you know a blanket that our friends' cats have been on and stuff like that, and he's always responded very well. Yeah. He's met a uh, friend's uh, cats very briefly. Uh, when they came over here to grab a spare cat carrier that we had. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, we're confident that he's going to be fine with kittens when kittens happen. But it's just, we have to prep. Yeah. Right? We have to prep the, the house and we have to clear some time so we can, you know, you adopt some kittens and you have to make some sacrifices. Like yeah. playing with some kittens for a large amount of time. Mm-hmm. So... Okay. We're just getting ready for that. I think I'm ready to start the final run here, which is okay. Let's check everything as it should be. Well, one, be in the damn car because when you <laughs> when you do this, everything's going to go to hell. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut up shop behind us. We're going to turn the car. We're going to be ready to go. We're going to be yeah, we're we're ready to go right now, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, we're already ready to go. Everything is as it should be. Lights on. And we're just going to activate this and go. Right, shit just got wild. Everything's good to go wrong at this point. There we go. And now we just basically make our way to that thingy. And if I follow the road most of the way round, that should be fine. Uh, we'll follow the road for as long as we can. Avoid what we now know is weird gravity shit and like spikes and whatever. Okay, and as we get closer, then, yeah, the sky is going to light up. Shit's going to get weird. Just check the map over to here. And, yeah, I think we're probably, probably okay to... Yeah, I think if I, I actually follow the the path around, if I can, as far as possible... Uh, oh, a slight, slight, slight knock there. Slight knock there. Don't worry about those guys. I'm sure they're all fine. There's even more cocky juice here, but I do not want to get out to take it. The closer we can get to this thing, the better. I think I'm happy to just turn in at this point. Uh, there should be a very limited amount of off-road. But this has gone a pretty smooth and simple, really. And into the woobly whooper. The game said take another drive. We've taken another drive. And we've discovered we're supposed to go into the deep something. And this time, you know what? We got a load of staple energy there. Right, yes. Yeah, so that's what that is. Hello, OP. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Sounds good. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through and fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. All right, stabilizing a way through. Return to uh, right. You want me to, to return to me? me? Ghibli jibble. Here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. 
I mean, you say that, the route to Sierra appears to be, you know, extreme conditions is flashing. Like, I feel like in general, that's not a location we want to go. Like, I feel like you, 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 you're you ignoring... You know what? I'm just going to go to the upgrade tree. I like the upgrade tree. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Kara, who gave us $10. Uh, and says, question for Claire. If I remember right, you like sci-fi. Do you have any good book recommendations, especially anything vintage? Also, all the belly rubs for Ted the Best Boy. Oh, Ted the Best Boy. Ted the Best Boy's already had a bunch of belly rubs, but uh, I would say for specifically vintage sci-fi, um, I, I think um, b -b 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 I think the Day of the Triffids really holds up. Yeah. Um, I've never read the original myself. I've, n I've not read any other John Wyndham, although I do have some. Um, but the Day of the Triffids, there's just a beautiful, like... It's clear and brief and to the point, you know, but it really works. Um, also, um, Sid Max the, Sid Max the City, um, speaking of good boys, because mm -hmm. it's about dogs. Um, did, you know, we, we fucked up the earth and, and dogs are left. That's, that's And they fair. just have like kind of, they just have um, lore about humans when Aww. humans used to be here. That sounds uh, adorable. I believe that's called The City. Uh, let's see. Uh, and also, my one of my uh, one of my uh, favorite books of all time. Um, yeah, it's called City. And one of my favorite book of all times is uh, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. Nice, nice. Um, and generally anything Ursula K. Le Guin ever wrote. But um, I like The Dispossessed. Because uh, when I was uh, when I was uh, 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 just arrived in the UK, somebody recommended it to me, and it was like, "Oh wow, it's like you can have fun science, f you can have interesting science fiction and also politics, mm -hmm. and those are inter you know the Venn diagram. I had not been given the center of that Venn diagram before, and it was very special to me. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, indeed. The chrysalids is very good, uh, says Amy Grace. That's uh, also um, that's also a John Wyndham. And yes, City is by Clifford D. Simak. Mm. And that's S-I-M-A-K. We've just got a load of steel plates off the, the car that always regenerates every time you come back, which is delightful, by the way. That was... Uh... Yeah, that, that just generated, like, several metal plates, which is good, because I wanted to make the car symmetrical, damn it. I want, It was very important to me to make the car symmetrical. And to do that, I need to set up a, yeah, side rack number two. So that should presumably, yeah, be set up there. So now I can take that, and now I can put that on this side, so that it matches the other. There we go. Now the car is not asymmetrical anymore, which is extraordinarily important, obviously. On top of that, yeah, I cannot do advanced workbench. I need loads of gas cylinders and sealed sheets if I wanted uh, that nonsense. So there's also a side storage. So presumably that's, yeah, now I've got the side racks. The side storage is what goes there, right? Is, is that a... Yeah, that's a schematic. Hang on. No, no, no. Read it. Read it, read it, read it. Yeah, okay. So that's not a thing I make. Sometimes you make stuff here and sometimes you, you build stuff here. And sometimes it can be hard to figure out which you're about to uh, to flippy do. So presumably, side storage is... And there's the headlights, by the way, which we can 100% do. Side storage is mostly fabric, actually. I love it. Let's just get one right here. So presumably, we're just going to plug that on... Yeah, right. Yeah. How big is that? Just out of interest. And not bad. Extra free shit. Well, obviously, we're having both because it would be weird for it not to be symmetrical. Clap. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, shout out to Cheat uh, Chitara, who's been a member for 66 months and wants to know uh, if uh, they can have a happy, an early happy birthday for Tuesday. Uh, not sure if I can make next week's stream. I shall be mm, mm, years old. Oh, dear. It can't possibly be as old as us, so it's fine. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, well, Chitara, happy birthday. Happy unspecified birthday to, to you. you. <laughs> Do you 
just generate a huge amount of road flares out of... Well, that's fascinating. But out okay. of what? What did you destroy for road, for this the old, uh The old headlights, because we're ready to make new, better headlights at this oh, point. That's funny. They made flares because they're lights, and flares are lights. I guess so. I mean, that's ridiculous, but it's also kind of funny. Well, at least now we've got... Yeah, actually, like they look a little bit better. Yeah, okay, so they're interchangeable. You just put them in either side. That looks better. The, the... I like that it also got like spit out of the uh, of the McJibble that makes them it, like fall on the there floor. There like... we go. Nice. It doesn't look like it's got sad droopy eyebrows. Yeah, it looks anymore. like it looks like an accountant from Slough now. <laughs> Appreciate that. I think I've only got one last bit of crude left. I've got one crude bumper. So if I could if I could just make one more bumper and I can make one steel bumper with just one steel sheet, and surely I can make I could easily make a steel sheet, meaning I can make one steel bumper right now. Yes. Clap. Nice. Uh, yes, shout out to Reggie who gave us $10 and says, Hello, John and Claire. I love your videos. I have a favor to ask for an unrelated game. Uh, I want to play Sim Settlements too, but I can't get it working. Do you have an install video or a link to a how-to? Like, how did you do it? I did it through Vortex. I know loads of people hate Vortex. I find Vortex easy to use. So, literally, I just followed the uh, the instructions that were, like, included on the Sim Settlements. Like, I can't remember if it's, like, the, the wiki or the homepage. I mean, I just followed the instructions. But, basically, I just did an install from Nexus Mods via vortex and it's worked fine uh for the most part so uh i'm afraid i'm no expert moddy person like i'm i'm very bad at wildly inconsistently doing mods in all sorts of different ways but i'm pretty sure that was just a very simple vortex install for me so i'm afraid i had no problems to troubleshoot so i can't really help you troubleshoot yours but I, i'm sure they've got like a discord and whatnot where you could reach out for assistance i'd be amazed if they didn't in fact uh, yes, indeed, and shout out to Levitating Otter, who points out that the crude headlights are literally made out of road flares. Is that all it is? Just road Apparently, flares? Yeah. That's adorable. Yeah, That's yeah, absolutely yeah. adorable. Uh, yeah, and shout out also to Molly, who's been a member for 28 months. Uh, and Molly says it's member message time. Being in the chat and in the stream feels like hanging out with friends, which is always nice. I hope all is well at Many a True Nerd HQ. I think it is, yes. Yes, indeed. Aside from Ted being a little naughty earlier. A little but... tiny bit naughty. But yes, we're just going to have to make sure that we're reinforcing all of our, yeah, commands mm -hmm. and everything. Dear, oh dear, Ted, letting us down a little bit there. Mm. Uh, and finally, shout out to Moken, who gave us 50 Norwegian krona. Ooh. Uh, and says, uh, hello, Master Ted, Lady Claire and John. Fourth stream of asking Master Ted, who I hope uh, that his paw has he healed, to allow uh, Servant John to play Dream Park Story. Uh, Ted's paw is now very much back to normal. Oh, I think yeah, it looks absolutely, absolutely fine. It's definitely Yeah, my not... paw's the one that's a little bit Yeah, you, you went over on your ankle a tiny bit the other day, didn't you? Well, me and Ted were on his morning walk in a little field where we regularly go and there was a pitch in the distance. Yeah. And Ted is part spaniel, so he wanted to flush it. He wanted to just... Yeah. Run after it. He doesn't want to chase it. or catch or kill. In fact, on occasions when he's caught, he's caught up to something like he had a wounded wing. He just goes up to it, sniffs it, gets confused, and then walks away. He doesn't yeah, know what to do. If something doesn't run away from him, he's like. He, he is. He is, as, as the Joker quote goes, like a dog chasing cars. He wouldn't know what to do when he, if he ever caught it. He uh, just wants to chase, but he doesn't. He wants. He's, he wants to flush, but he doesn't actually want to catch. Yes, indeed. And so he's quite good. Yeah. Uh, if he wants to run after something to flush it, he'll like look at it and wait for a command to be released to go and catch it. Yeah. So I gave him his release command and I was expecting him to run and I kind of went running with him, but he was uh, too fast. so much faster than me and I kind of uh, twisted my ankle a little bit and John was working uh, long hours on the secret mystery thing. Yeah. And therefore, I had to do extra Ted walks, and I was like limp. All of our dog walking friends yeah. were like, You're walking funny. <laughs> Lol. Oh dear. So, anyway. That was sad. Mm. You were a bit, you've been a bit sorry for yourself as a result of that. Yes, indeed. Research circuit board. Hang on. I can, I'm pretty mm. sure I can research circuit board. It's super easy. 
But yeah, that, that's... Sometimes they just get spat off into nothing. Because I wouldn't mind, yeah, presumably, yeah, being able to scan further <laughs> makes more wow. sense. So that's been done. Then I just need a circuit board and a giant pile of scrap metal. Uh, dear, oh dear. Shout out to Artsy Wolf Live mm -hmm. in chat who says, John, you sound about 26 at a push. And Claire sounds 23 at max. That d she doesn't. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> sod off. <laughs> One circuit board is actually super easy to put together. That's good. So that's the circuit board we need. Can we get scanner two out immediately? Then we just need a giant pile of scrap metal. Now, in theory, have I broken down the car yet? Yeah, uh, mostly, yes. Would you like to maybe? Oh, wow. Somebody else thinks we're just under 30. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. Optimistic. We're actually the same age. Yeah, pretty much. And we much. got together in our very early 20s and have been together for 15, 15 years. 15 years, yeah. So, the problem with know. being with someone for 15 years is then you've been with them for 15 years. 15 years has to have passed. It's yeah. it's, it's the downside, unfortunately. Oh, nice. A steel sheet. Yeah, steel sheet. Steel you, sheet. You know, I thought you nice. were going to say something less nice about the problem of being with someone for 15 years. Well, there's all sorts of problems, isn't there? But, yeah, like, you know, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the main one. It's really out here in this shed, by the way. What does this shed do? I always forget whether this shed does anything. Like, there's just there's some nice lights out here. They just sort of float around. And there's, like, a transmuter that doesn't do anything. But, oh. hey, hey, hey. Hi, Ted. Oh, Ted. Honey bun, it's fine. Nothing scary. Hey, Ted. Just Ted. I'm sorry if we just upset any of your dogs at home. Hey, Through Ted going woofy woof. Baba, you're with us? Hey, Ted, you're you all right, honey bun. You are with us, buddy. You're all right, yeah, honey bun. Yeah, freedom is taken away for a minute. Well, yeah, you calm down. You don't get freedom for a sec, okay? I settled on your couch. Freedom has been stolen from you until you calm down, Baba. okay? Yeah? Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get up to the amount of uh, the amount of scrap I need for Aerial Two, good unfortunately. Boy, nice we're most of the way there, which is kind of good. And the outfitting station is. Hang on, I thought I already had that. Oh, yes, I already got the outfitting station, and I really feel like I do not need a rapid fuel pump in, in the garage. I think that that that's fine. Expanded locker would be nice, but then uh, hang on. I mean, the locker is kind of getting close to. Getting close to full. Okay, I've got one steel sheet right now. Could I make it? Though I can't get 50 scrap together. Do I have enough scrap to make five more steel sheets? Like, hang on. Steel sheet is... No, I can make four. I can make four. I don't see any other way of getting any more scrap, unfortunately. Unless I was to, like, break down... I've got three gears... You know what, I'd, li I'd like to have that now. If I just put the gears into you. Yeah, the gears go into the mass decompressor. Wow! Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad decision. Did you put all three of them at the same time? I put all three in it, it generated one scrap. Oh. Why would, you, why would you put all three at the same time? Just check. Well, I didn't, I didn't think of doing that. Oh my god. Oh, that's sad. That's that's just sad. Is the chat yelling at you? Probably it will do. Yes. Oh. Okay, Ted. I've got to go back and keep an eye on your dad. <laughs> oh. Oh. He settled on dear. the sofa now. Anyway. Good boy. I just wanted, you, you, just wanted a, a bigger locker because it was getting. Have you full. visited the friendly dustbin yet? I've definitely already been to friendly dustbin. Friendly dustbin was not helping me out on this occasion, unfortunately. Oh, shout out to Kato Tarts, who's been a member for 15 months and says, 15 years? Try 22 years and thinking you're both still 17. Lol. That's the thing about, you know, being in your mid to late 30s. Mm -hmm. So I don't wish I was 17 again. Ooh, side mounted floodlights. I don't like feel like I need them, but I feel like I would I want them. Like, just in general, I'd, I'd like to conceptually be aware of, like, how side-mounted floodlights might function. That's, that's, that's interesting right there. Just as, like, you know, 
A way of ridiculously... Okay, I need way more Oh, there's bolts. apparently a computer outside you can scrap. A computer? Oh, that's not going to generate that much scrap. Computers generate more in the way of plastic and whatnot. Mm. So that's not going to fly. Uh, I could... Pr I mean, I could, I could generate enough bulbs to make one, but then there would be... There would be floodlights on one side and luggage on the other. Is that acceptable to me? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I mean, I but can't... But it's not like you see... It's not It's not the same as your spaceship where you're, like, looking at it all the time. I'm just going to remove this and we're going to pop it in storage if it goes in storage, though. Okay, put it, put it there. Put, put that put that in, in here. Okay, no, pick it up. Put it into... No, it's, it's telling me to put the storage into my storage, and I don't want it to do that. I want it to. I want to put the storage. I'm sure it'll. You know what? I'm just going to suck it up with the thing and remember it's there for later. Okay. Oh I'm just dear. Turn you on, and then presumably that gets spat out. And okay, side storage is now present here. Side storage is present, so that's 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 fine. It's 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 waiting for me. Because I can make this, okay? I can make one set of floodlights. I just want to see how dumb powerful they are. Because I like the idea of it. Because all I need is four additional bulbs. And then just the tiniest amount. I, I can do that. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then just side floodlights. Yeah, boy. Right, now that, that now gets stuck on here. Because I just feel like... Oh, like literally side floodlights. I can't, I thought they were going to be facing forwards, I'm going to be honest. What? I thought they were like extra lights when I was driving along. Like if I pushed an extra button, like oh, I have not more help, normal headlights. But I really want to be... Like, 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 like fog lights. I want them to be like really... Like, brah! Like, fuck you, bunnies. Why are you looking at me like I'm an idiot? It makes perfect sense that I wanted additional lights that would face forwards. Well, it's just because it said side lights in the name of the... I thought they were on the sides. Uh-huh. Okay, how, how bright are they? Okay, this is very important now. We need to check out Isn't brightness. Isn't that the same thing that happened when you plugged guns on your spaceship in Starfield and you were like, oh, they're not going forward because I put them on the side? It's very similar. I won't... <laughs> Okay, but like, how does it? How, how do, do I turn, turn them it on? on? Oh I, I've, dear! I've, tu I've turned this on. D does the car have to be? Yeah. Is the car running? The car is on. I've turned the fl I've turned these on, but I'm not sure how to turn them on. Ah, you have a diff. There's a difference between side floodlights and roof floodlights. Oh gosh, John, is that the one I wanted? Really, I wanted the roof floodlights. Uh, you might want to read the description. I, I, you, you, I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, give me the cliff you notes version. You need to version. assign the ability uh, like the handbrake. Oh, it's an assignable ability. Okay. Right, 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 right. That's 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 okay. Right. Uh, put it on Y and side floodlights. Yes. I'm guessing these eat a lot of power. No, 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 no. Assign. Assign. Y. Side floodlights. Replace current ability. Oh. There we go. So now. Oh, yes. I'm guessing this is bad for power consumption. I mean, honestly, not that bad. Like, okay, if I have them off. Okay, if I, okay, this is, this is, this is presumably the battery level. So normally it just idles. If I turn the actual lights on, it goes down. But bear in mind that I think the car does have an alternator. So it's going down like, you know, two to one to zero. Okay, but if I turn these on. That is faster. But if I'm like, but holy flip, Claire, I mean, this is. I'm just going to leave these on all the time. I'm just going to drive around like this. Just like, yeah, boy, this is what I want. This is. Look at it! Look at that! Also, apparently, I, I I don't cast a shadow. I think I may be a vampire. Mm -hmm. That is an, it's certainly a vampire. The amount of energy you're sucking. Off that of is them. a valuable value. That is a ridiculous. The card does not have an alternator, John. Uh, 
for me to invest in additional batteries as part of my department. Claire, over to you. Uh, I believe we are caught up. Let me double check. Uh, but yeah, roof floodlights. Yeah, yes, for roof floodlights, I need unstable energy. So that I've not even seen yet. I need to presumably go into like the deeper bit they want me to go into. Yeah. So I have a zero unstable or corrupt energy right now. So that is, that is sad. Okay, that's, that's, that's very sad. Indeed. I can I get the roof? I can I get the, uh, the roof muck jibbly jibbles? But I, presumably I need... I mean, I could have, like, yeah, a side battery strikes me as a good idea. Uh, but that also is locked away significantly. And I'd need to find a wriggling wreck before I can even go in that direction, unfortunately. And I can't, yeah. I mean, I can do the battery jumper. So, if I, you know, if my battery does run dry, I can, like, you know, give it a bit of a, a, a jank. And eventually I can build a small wind turbine on top of my car. To power the car. And a solar panel, which doesn't work at night, obviously. But, oh, that's, 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 okay. I just need to find a wriggling wreck. Whatever one of those is. By the looks of it. But, okay. I mean, bare minimum. I, I, I do appreciate that, you know, now the car's just got ridiculous mega lights on it. Like, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm, I'm completely 100% down for that. But, um... Yeah, I can't deny that did that 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 ate a fair whack of the battery fairly quickly, like, like quite quickly. But who cares? Even even if the power fails, the uh, car still glows in the dark. Somebody said, uh, sorry, Kara says the uh, health bunny also recharges the battery. Do you mean the happy hairs? The happy, the happy hairs. We should definitely make for. Okay, I shouldn't have taken. He was just trying to help. I shouldn't have hit, hit, used a chainsaw on him. In many ways, that was that was a mistake. Um, I should, I, I shouldn't have chainsawed him into small pieces, as it turns out. But yes, I definitely want to be moving in the direction of just catastrophically stupid roof floodlights, which, for which I need unstable energy. Yeah, I think I also saw this at some point where it's like, clearly says front and side. Yeah. So I think that's why I was confused by so, what yeah, you were saying. So yeah, the roof, the roof floodlights will be, fa will be forward facing. Uh, which is nice, and then there's all sorts of different other bits and pieces. Yeah, the bio headlights is an intense focused beam. They're just reinforced, and yeah, you are more resistant to electrical interference. Kind of like yeah, the bio headlights. That sounds kind of cool. I'm kind of I'm kind of down with that. Though I need an advanced. We're getting into you need advanced workbench territory, and that's tied to. Yeah, giant piles of gas cylinders. I just need to be... And unstable energy. ...rootling around for gas cylinders. Unless I can make gas cylinders, uh, do I ever learn the ability to produce gas cylinders? Uh, bulb, steel, circuit, carbon fiber. No. No, I cannot. That is that is just not allowed. And then the limb chips. Lati flipping da. So, all right. I'd say, when, I'd say, you know, I know we, it's a bit of a short stream. There's still three hours. We're probably going to wrap things up there as I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Because, Oof. um, you know, I, I, I don't, 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 technically I'm not under embargo or anything. But, like, you know, since you do, I've might have been talking with Paradox lately. You know, might have, might have something to, might have something to show you this weekend. Just, you know, the sort of thing that would, that would have me and a bunch of other YouTubers known for, for strategy games, talking in, talking to each other, etc, etc. You know, I don't know, it could, it, could, it could be anything, could be anything, it's, 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 it's hard to say, it's hard to say. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's, there's things, there's things coming on Saturday. It's, it's, um, what I gave to Claire was seven hours of footage. Seven hours of footage. I think Claire edit this. He did. And it was, it was only an hour, it was only uh, an hour and a bit after we were done. I'm going to edit it down a little bit further. Uh, but yes, it's, 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 it's Pippa Funnel yeah, 4. Yeah, that's right. It's Pippa Funnel 4. It's it's not Stellaris. Uh, there is no secret Stellaris. Here. They, they don't. They trail Stellaris way further ahead. It's not Stellaris or Stellaris Two. It's not developed by Paradox. It's published by Paradox. It's fine. Uh, we've got it's 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 fine. Everything's absolutely. Ev everyone's wrong. 
everyone's wrong. Uh, except the people saying poor Claire. Except the people saying poor. Except people saying poor Claire. I mean, t- 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 what we're saying is it was very gappy. Yeah, it was extraordinarily gappy. Like I removed several gaps that were like 20, 30 minutes. Uh huh. So yes, we've got uh, we've got something very special coming on. Lots of people saying oh all of a sudden. <laughs> Two simultaneous O's, I love it. Uh, so yes, we got something. We got something very, probably very long, something very long happening uh, on uh, something very, very, very long indeed happening on uh, Saturday. I, I, I'm swearing Stellaris Two is going to be announced this year. I know nothing about it. I've not seen anything about it, but I think Stellaris Two is going to be this year, uh, or at least announced this year. Probably not out this year, but I think it's going to be announced this year. <laughs> I think they'll announce. Not Bethesda women, but Paradox Pals. Mm-hmm. Paradox Pals, I love that. Very nice. So yes, indeed, and. If if the geek cupboard was still here, you could just go and bully them because because uh, they because they've been involved too. Uh, so the seven hour version is just the version you're gonna get, but with a load more gaps and me blubbling a lot more. So did that's that those sort of noise. I restart sentences because I didn't get because I didn't get a sentence right. And also uh, sometimes the the uh, delightful delightful thing of well okay. The actually delightful thing is sometimes you hear Ted bark in the background. Mm-hmm. Then we're like calming him down yeah. and stuff. But um, a lot of the time there is, you know, throat clearing. Yeah. And, <clears throat> uh, and yeah. at least, at least you weren't, uh, you weren't. Sometimes when you have a proper head cold and yeah. you're recording a video, there's a lot of like really Snorty gross noises. noises. Yeah, yeah. lots of gross noises. Yeah. You don't have the gross noises. Clara to deal with the gross noises. You can do without the gross noises. It's fine. Mm. Anyway, we're going to go have some food, cuddle some dogs, etc., etc. Cuddle one dog. Cuddle, cuddle one dog, unfortunately. Yes. One dog and no kittens yet. One but dog, no kittens someday. yet. Uh, but yes, obviously, we've got your usual Starfield, your usual Sim settlements, etc., etc., and uh, yes, uh, also, uh, obviously, as I say, there's the, there's the, the, um, there's the beginning of something special on Saturday. Uh, also, other exciting things, as a couple of people have flagged to me recently, a game I've wanted to cover and tried to cover, but it was wildly refused to work for me for a long time, has finally come to Steam the other day. The Saboteur has come to Steam. I finally am going to get to play that. I've been wanting to play Saboteur for so long. I've never played it before. Uh, so we're hopefully going to have time to play the Saboteur soon. And then we're heading into a ridiculous, dumb amount of uh, new releases. Like, coming up over the next... Like, next week, I think, like, in a row, Dragon's Dogma 2, Horizon Forbidden West comes to PC... And the new Alone in the Dark that might be terrible. And then the Tuesday after that, Millennia comes out in full. So, like, there's, like, so there's, there's four huge releases in, like, five days in about a week's time. Which is uh, absolutely wild, which is delightful. I'm also, by the way, delighted that this year, April 1st, falls on a Monday, which is my day off. So that kind of lets me just kind of say, yeah, okay, good. I don't do an April Fool's video this year. Because uh, they could be a bit a, hit, a, they a be te- a hit a and miss. Mark super cut. <laughs> They could be a bit hit and miss the, uh, the April Fool's. So I'm kind of glad I've got a really good excuse. You know, I don't need to do an April Fool's this year. Huzzah! Because April 1st is Monday. That's my day off. It's great. So, yes, we've got all of... We've got a load of new releases coming up over the next few weeks. And in other exciting news... Claire, would you like to say what um what you were working on today? Or yesterday, possibly. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Because we looked at yesterday evening. The thumbnail mock-ups. The thumbnail mock-ups. Yes, indeed. I see somebody in chat uh, saying uh, Skies of Arcadia this weekend. Not quite, but we're starting to work on it. We are, we, yeah. you know, we we have an idea now when yeah. Starfield's going to be done. I think Starfield, we're really coming to because it's literally just Ryujin at the end of the plot. And mm. I've already explored like 90% of the galaxy. And like, you know, at this point when you go into systems, plenty of them do not have that much in them. Um, so honestly, I am predicting Starfield, which we're, yeah, 50, part 56 comes out tomorrow. I'm thinking somewhere around 62 could be the finale. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're thinking there might, we might, you know, depending on what we decide to do, like that puts Skies of Arcadia starting somewhere around early to mid-April. Somewhere around there. 
yes, somewhere indeed. around there. We don't know exactly, you know, what, what and when, but I've already started doing little mock-ups for a thumbnail. There's especially one I really with like. an older there's game. There's one I really like, yeah. Especially with an older game, you know, there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of key art and a lot of things that are, you know, out there. So we had to be a little bit... Yeah, there's, there's, one, there's one I really like. Of direct, I, there's one I really like. I basically liked. made, like, ten different mock-ups that are, yeah. like, completely different something. I mean, I'll go I'll go over this in detail at one point. Scans of Arcadia is the, the longest gap possible between me, like, pl planning a series and actually starting it. Because I literally recorded the first part of a Skies of Arcadia series... About nine, ten years ago, and I thought I did not do this justice, and I deleted it. And uh, I'm no, I I didn't do that justice. That that's not good enough. I don't, I don't, I want these guys of Arcadia better. And it's taken me a decade to actually come back and say now I'm ready. Like it's like you know, like a ten year montage of me like practicing. I feel like the last the last decade, the entire channel up to this point is kind of me just doing a training montage. You know, to finally sit down with like a very long beard and bulging biceps, ready to to kind of you know start work on Skies of Arcadia. It's kind of you know weird. You yeah. know, Neil Gaiman said that about the Graveyard Book. Yeah. Um. The Graveyard Book, which is like a take on the Jungle Book with a kid who gets raised in a graveyard, not the jungle. Uh, it's a book that apparently uh, Neil Gaiman like thought of, you know, twenty years ago. Yeah. And he said like he kept sitting down to try to write it and thinking, yeah, I'm not good enough at writing yet. Yeah. And putting it off and off until you. Know, oh my goodness. What the cock just happened? Hello. Hey, shout out to B who gave us five hundred dollars. Which is okay. Wild. Uh, hey, John Claren Ted, sorry for the last second super chat. Uh, please don't, don't, don't be sorry. <laughs> that there is nothing to be sorry about. Blimey. I'm a long time lurker, found the channel when John and Dan did their first collab. That would have been the GTA oh. heist back in the day. That yeah. was before I was doing the channel full time because wow. I was at work when Dan DM'd me about it and I DM'd you about it because we were both doing yeah, different and I, full time I was jobs. At, I was at we my were both office doing job full time and, like, jobs. You know, sneakily checking Twitter and John was like freaking out about Dan talking to him. It was yeah, super cute. I was. I was freaking out about that. I was starstruck. Uh. Anyway, uh, B says things haven't been great for the last few months and I've been binging MHN as a result. I absolutely love the energy that you two bring to the internet. You two are so wholesome. Keep up the amazing content. That's all we've ever wanted. I love hearing that because that's literally all I've ever wanted. All we Literally, when we started the channel, it was right at the peak of when, like, sarcastic British person is incredibly verbiosely... Uh, mean to something like you know it was absolutely the point when that was the go-to content format like british person is angry at thing on internet and does it incredibly florid language that that was the thing so no i want to be happy about shit and I, I had the right voice to do that i could like in another universe I said, yes i can do that too uh, well, yeah, but in this yeah, year, yeah, but yeah. like I, I said no. I want to do the opposite. And I you want have to be. A good turn of phrase. I, I want can, to be. Yeah. I want to be a British person who likes things with a bit of a florid turn of phrase. Uh, and and that's what we've been doing for like a decade. I really, I like, I love it when people pick up on that, and that's the thing they actually like about the channel because that's the entire thing I've wanted to do this entire time. And you know, it's funny because um, this is. A thing that none of you will know about John because this is, you know, not a not an audio thing. Don't tell them about the penis thing. It's, it's <laughs> private, all right? I'm, getting, I'm having the final surgery in a couple of months, okay? Shut up. <laughs> um, one thing that I told my best friend when I was describing John to him when we were when we had first started dating. Now I'm just like emailing my mate and going like, oh my god, this guy. Oh. Um. I'm not sure I've heard this before, actually. This might be you news to me. You definitely have. Okay. You definitely have. Is um, John's walk. Oh, yeah. If anybody plays The Sims, right? <laughs> there's a thing where you can select a walk. And, you know, there's some walks that are, like, that are like kind of a little bit more, you know, cheerful and happy. And you look at the walks and you're like, that's ridiculous. No one walks like that. John <laughs> walks like that. John genuinely, like just walks with such a like a spring in his step is like yeah. literal yeah that's fair and that's fair and like 
you know, back in the day when we were first started dating, uh, yeah. and I lived in North London and John lived in South London. That's you true. Know, the uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> two the, families. The, the original Romeo. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The modern Romeo and Juliet. And um, and in I'm fair not... Harringay, we set our scene. Fuck me. Uh dear, oh dear. So I've been on the on the tube and then the train and then another tube that. Anyway, I, I'm not going to say it, but uh, the line was green is all I'm going to say. Uh-huh. Nothing wrong with the district line. Well, Nothing wrong with the district line. Well, for getting on it. Anyway. It's fine. It's no, Most of it's lovely and overground, which is very pleasant. Uh-huh. I'll admit, sometimes you have to wait for the right branch a bit of time, but that's the, da- 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 you know, that's, that's the price you pay for a line that can take you literally any cocky direction. Love the district line. How dare you? It's a really pleasant green <laughs> colour, too. Anyway, I like him so much that I've been for an hour and a half on like three different tubes or whatever, uh-huh. including the district line. And then uh, and then line. I'm outside the station and I see him show up and I see him walk down the hill to the station. And it's like, oh, yeah, I can tell that's him from like, you know, 50 meters away because the walk, mm-hmm. the, str- you know. You wouldn't even need to use the district line if you didn't want. You could have taken the overground. Mm. You could have taken the. You could have taken Victoria and then mm. taken the overground. You'd been fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I like to complain about it. <laughs> In that, we are well matched. I don't even. Do- when I came to visit you, I never used the district line. I just took the overground. Took the overground then, uh-huh. and then straight onto Victoria. It's fine. Dear oh dear. Uh, just about to say, I love the energy you bring to the internet as well, and then you make a penis joke. <laughs> I mean, is that if that's I know, not I never John said in that. I never said I never said there weren't going to be dick jokes. <laughs> no, I never said there weren't going to be dick jokes. It's fine. Anyway, we're going to go eat some food. But yeah, all sorts of shit coming up. Skies of Arcadia coming up. Something strategy gamey coming up this weekend. Starting this weekend. Uh, the, the Saboteur going to be coming up. Loads of new releases going to be coming up. I finally get around to Horizon Forbidden West once on PC. Dragon's Dogma 2 whenever I can get my cocky hands on it. So a lot of shit coming up over the next few weeks. Don't know what next week's uh, live stream is going to be. Uh, I've got one idea but I'm not going to have time to set it up. So uh, basically, yes. Hopefully you've all had a lovely time joining this evening. Hopefully, yes. You, you, you'll, you'll be looking forward to at least some of these mysterious videos hopefully we'll see you next week hopefully just in general you have a lovely lovely weekend and whatnot thank you so much for joining us thank you very much super chatters all the super chatters thank you extra special much to be coming in last minute with the cocking 500 dollars cocking amazing and just yes hopefully everyone has a lovely lovely weekend and maybe just maybe we'll see you next week for the next live stream too but in the meantime i've been john i've been claire teddy's teddy's still over there teddy's over there now he's now back on his sofa where he belongs this has been many a true net and this has been the delightfully weird pacific drive thank you very much and have fun don't drive over there <laughs>